All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, please invite your friends and share the link with everybody you know, so we can get more and more people here. Uh, uh, today, before we start, uh, you know what we will do today is very simple, and I hope uh, uh, more new people will come and whoever have a questions about Islam. And especially Muslims, because Muslims are the last one to know what Islam is about. Uh, not only Muslims who they are, you know, I mean, not educated. I mean, I never saw a Muslim. He knows what Islam is about, even the one who claimed to be a sheikh. Uh, yesterday we witnessed how, you know, five, I don't know how many Muslims were debating me, and not even one of them, he have any idea what he's talking about. Yet they claim that they have knowledge and supposedly they call in purpose of getting Christian friends busted so that they are supposedly ready. Um, at least they are prepared for the questions they have because remember, I did not ask them questions, they asked me the questions. Uh, it was a night of sorrow for the, the, the Muhammadan, but this is not my fault. Your religion is very, uh, I don't know what to say, I don't want to say stupid because the word stupid is an insult to stupidity when we connect it to Islam because it's more than a stupid. You know, sometimes all of us, we do something foolish. That's, I mean, that's normal for a human being, all of us. There's no, that doesn't matter, even the smart one, actually smart ones sometimes, they do the most stupid things. But still, Islam is beyond that. And I cannot find any Muslim, he can... I mean, come with any uh, logic. Sometimes I ask myself, what is the logic the Muslims they use to make themselves believe in such a, a cult? Actually, even the word cult, Islam is not even a qualified, but I'm using what I know in English. Before we start, I'm going to show you some of the comments made by Muslims about yesterday debate just to show you the logic of the Muslims guys please invite your friends I'm not sure why we are only 66 people I mean why come on uh, don't I deserve to have uh, I mean <laughs> anyway so let us go and see the video we have yesterday and see the comments of the Muslims because I like to answer the comments of the Muslims before we start. Remember, for me, Muslims are my customers and they are, you know, Muslims come first. So let us say it, let us make it simple. Customers come first. So here we have the comment section. We will go and we will look at the Muslim comment only. I'm not going to read any, with my thanks all to Christian support. Uh, I want to see the Muslim comment. Where is the Muslim comment? <clears throat> Muslim, Muslim. Let us see. Here we go. This is one of them. Read carefully with me, please. And look, look how Muslims, they try to answer me in, in a very funny way. I mean, the Christian monk misquote Arabic text to sweet his narrative. He also picks weak hadith narration that Muslims don't believe and still gets busted foolish Christians who believe in a religion that has nothing to do with Jesus. Uh, sing his praises. You know, I was showing in the screen every single statement I was reading, it was in the screen, and the Muslims who they are from the other side, they speak Arabic. And not even a single one of them, he said, you are reading wrong. 
and look at this this uh, this Abdul this is this is showing you how Muslims they try to fight to fight back they fight back by lying to themselves I mean everybody's watching and the Muslim did not even in, if you go and see the debate the five Abdul not even one of them he says to me you are reading wrong even the other guy he said yes it says that and I was showing a hadith it says Sahih I showed that even in the screen yet this liar here he said that I was uh, uh, posting a hadith which is weak however by the way even the weak hadith is accepted in Islam but this idiot he is the same as the rest anything you said anything you throw at them they say it's to you it's weak this is Islam is weak I mean what kind of religion is based on Quran and hadith but the hadith is not guaranteed to be accurate that's mean Islam is a, is a shish kebab Islam is based on the luck maybe we got something right there when when the Muslims believe that Islam base on two the Quran and the hadith and then they say to us that the hadith have a lot of fabrication so Islam is based on what Islam is destroyed already because you just told me that your books is full of lies this is your books so when the Muslim he say this to you he is not defending Islam he is proving to us that Islam is not a trustworthy when he say that I am reading of I'm reading hadith which is weak there is there is a uh, a video on YouTube you can go and watch it by Sheikh Hamza he was teaching in the mosque teaching the Muslims that weak hadith it did not funk it pass I'm just quoting exactly what he said this week hadith did not funk it pass why it did not funk because simply weak hadith mean it has a rank it's not rejected it is accepted actually this is why it's given a rank the one which is rejected it is the one it says matruk left rejected the same as yesterday when we quote about uh, uh, Asim the one who the Muslims carry the Quran from but yet he is his hadith is matruk which mean is rejected and they call him why because he's a liar however when the Muslims they hide behind what is called weak hadith and a strong hadith I have a challenge light right now to Muslims to call me and I will show them only and I promise only the very healthy strong hadith a hadith which have nothing missing vitamin a d o b g whatever you name it all the alphabet who dare to call me and he can show me a hadith i mentioned yesterday it was weak didn't he say i was quoting weak hadith who of you muslims dare to call me and show me the weak hadith i showed if nobody did that's mean they are a bunch of liars number two uh, you are misquoting the Arabic text the funny about Muslims if you do not know Arabic they will say to you you will not know what the Quran is saying unless you speak Arabic now I am a person Arabic is my first language it's my native language I spend my life studying and reading getting my degrees in Arabic and yet I am misquoting the Arabic why you did not call me while I was on air misquoting and get me busted you know what I mean okay what about now you see let me be sure that my Skype is on hold on hold on I want to be sure that my Skype is on who is the Muslim want to call me right now and get me busted about something I said yesterday or the day before or the day before or the day before or any day before anyone want to do that? Would, would, would do that it's just a statement in text and they know they are incapable and they knew that line <clears throat> uh, You are misquoting the text. I'm showing you even that Muslim translation. 
<laughs> like yesterday, the guy he said to me, "Well, are you saying that uh, uh, Shaitan? He it's not possible for him to be a good person?" I said, "According to Islam, no." Show me the proof of the opposite. He said, "No, you show me." <laughs> Quite well, <laughs> I showed you Allah in the Quran. He cursed Shaitan. He cursed his offspring. He said to you in the Quran that he and his offspring are your enemy. He did not say only the Iblis. He said Iblis, Shaitan, he and his offspring are your enemy. Are you saying to me Allah is making a mistake by saying that his children are his enemy too? Your enemy? Have you ever heard of a religion believe that Shaitan is a good guy? Well, yeah, obviously he's a good guy. I mean Shaitan and Islam, they match together. They have the same ethic. Manual. I'm logging in my uh, Skype. We will be we will be on in a second. All right. All right. We are back. Our Skype is open. If there is any Muslim. Look like I have a text from a Muslim. Let us see. Let's see if I can get him here to call me. No, he is not. Okay, forget about him. Uh, all right, guys, I have an announcement. Oh, at ten thirty Cairo time. Hmm. Okay, so guys, uh, I just got this from our sister Rene. I will show it to you in the screen. So it looks like we have a debate, but this time with the real sheikh. Uh, he is very well known for the Muslims in, in uh, you know, in Egypt. His name is Ruhe. All right. This is what uh, she updated me. I spoke to Sheikh Ruhi. And he agreed Saturday, 10.30 Cairo time, which I think 16.30. Well, guys, if somebody can check for me the, the timing, so we can confirm that is the correct time. So from now, take a note, please. This coming Saturday, we have a real debate. Not with the kid. This is a sheikh. And he is an official sheikh. All right? And I like it this way because when you speak to somebody, he is a sheikh. I'm not going to waste my time speaking about weak hadith because he will not say that he right away knows what will make him look funny if he says so you know what I mean those people they do this for a living he's a professional he's a sheikh he graduated from the Azhar University this is what sheikh mean he is an imam in the mosque he's a leader uh, he is uh, uh, you know uh, the one Muslims ask him for answers. So this coming Saturday. But somebody check the time, please. Just before we confirm. Is Cairo 1030? She did not say Cairo time. I mean 1030. 1030. Maybe this is 1030 a.m. for him, right? I think it's 1030 a.m. for him. All right. Okay, good. So, guys, this coming Saturday, 4.30 our time, 4.30 our time, 4.30 p.m., all right, uh, we have a debate with the real sheikh. I, don't, I cannot say he is a scholar or not. I am not sure, really. But at least he is a sheikh, you know. 
and he is very well known and uh, Renee she she met him in a Christian room actually in uh, uh, in Pal talk and he come to debate Christians from time so he is like he's very well known and you know what you will see I will speak to him with respect I'm not going to insult as long a person don't play games with me I don't insult really I say things as it is you want when somebody say he's a li he's lying I say you are a liar I mean this is not an insult if somebody describe you the way you are this is not an insult you know what I mean if I'm wearing clothes and my clothes is dirty and some, someone says to me you are dirty and he mean for sure my clothes in this case this is not an insult because it is dirty it's just saying what what what's what's happening so people bring insult to themselves when they just insult to insult but if somebody describe something real that is not meant to be an insult and not meant to be a rude statement so please tell everybody from now this coming Saturday we have a debate with Sheikh Rohi I wish I have like uh, I wish Renee she sent me like a profile of him uh, in Facebook etc but maybe it's not a good idea uh, To speak about his profile on Facebook, maybe he don't like it. I don't know. Anyway, uh, Cairo time because Cairo, Cairo, my friend, the the sun rise there before. <laughs> Do you remember the Quran when he walked all the way until he found where the sun set in a murky water? Okay, that was there almost. So uh, always the sun rise in east. And we are in the west we are in, at the end of the west china is the far east we are the far west like as an ex example between us and the philippine there's 12 hours all right <clears throat> yeah no 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 we will do it in english he speak arabic i speak arabic but the debate will be in english the debate but having somebody, he's a sheikh, he speaks Arabic, will make things a lot easier for me. I do not need, you know, uh, to explain to him. And he cannot say I am misquoting and mistranslate. You know what I mean? So that will make it a lot more comfortable. Debating with high educated uh, Muslims, uh, as we call like sheikh, is a, a 1,000 times easier than debating an Abdul who have no idea. Because the Abdul who have no idea, he can say anything. You know what I mean? He can just throw words and he is not responsible for it. Because at the end of the day, he will tell you, I'm not a sheikh. Yeah, I said that, but I'm not a sheikh. Which means he was dumb. All right? Well, the Arabic, we have to use some Arabic text, but we will uh, translate to English. And you guys, you will have the whole... The whole thing is going to be in English, but for sure, uh, we might need to use some Arabic just to read and confirm things. Uh, seem like it is ten thirty a.m. time. Yeah, ten thirty in Cairo time. Hold on, you know what? Why we are doing this? Let me confirm it was in my phone. I will add Cairo to my digital clock Cairo Egypt All right, so it's 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 correct. Oh Hold on. Hmm. I think Rene she is wrong Yeah, how uh, I, I, I think she's right if she meant 10 30 10 30 uh, a, a p.m. So yeah, it's going to be 10:30 p.m. for him. It's going to be 4:30 for us. So yes, we are we are fine. 10:30, 10:30 his time. It is 10:30 p.m. Right? Yeah, because as we said, the sun uh, rise there before us. Well, sound good, and I hope that uh, everybody will get the benefit. So please, from now, tell your friends. This is, will be a very good debate between two people who know what they are talking about. This is a guy who is very well skilled and trained debating the Christians. This guy, he you can find him every day debating the Christians in Pal Talk every day. So this guy, like he, 
uh, uh, through maybe the last uh, 15 years of his life he got tons of questions so he is already trained for it which is make it really good right so it's going to be kind of a tough debate uh, between uh, between two tough let us see who is more who is more tough <laughs> No, we do not need a moderator. I don't believe in moderator. You see, I don't believe that you, know, you see that a debate, a debate is not about you speak five minutes and I speak five minutes. I don't believe in this thing because five minute, ten minute for you, ten minute for me, people get bored, people sleep. Real debate is across fire. Hold on, you said that. Explain to me. You know, not you finish your speech and now you take the stage as as the most boring debate you see in. In YouTube in some churches or some places it's funny it's stupid it's it's useless it's no point of it actually everybody is reading from his computer what he wrote about the debate two months ago there was no debate you know what I mean those kind of debates like you know if you go and see the last debate between uh, uh, Shabir Ali and David Wood the, 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 the coward Shabir Ali will never dare to get close to me you go in the stage they have an article written in front of them here they wrote it paul he said jesus he said muhammad he said allah he said and then you finish and then the other guy he come he don't answer anything of what you said he is just reading his own written statement which is two weeks ago written by him or maybe a month ago you know what i mean there's no topic my my friend the topic is Islam you see I don't go for a topic if you are a person who claim to know you do not need to prepare for a topic like now if I say to a Muslim call me and then I say to me oh we have a topic this is this is can be done only if you have a classroom and today our classroom is speaking about how the eye function so don't ask me about the toes but when you are in a debate and you claim that you are a person who have knowledge then every topic is possible topic otherwise you are just a guy claiming that you know those who prepare for a topic in advance and they want certain topic only because they are scared do you remember this uh, somalian boy what his name uh, um, the guy the funny guy i forgot his name uh, he you know is, he keeps saying he want to debate me and then when i offer him i challenge him to come he insists that he want to have a topic what the topic the trinity or the Trinity it was or Jesus is God so, so they want a specific topic because they are afraid if we go out of the topic they are gone they are dead so what they do they go and they collect from Islamic websites attacking Christianity tons of questions copy paste as simple as that hmm? anyway if there is any Muslim right now listening to us would like to call me please feel free and take a note about this coming debate this coming Saturday today is Wednesday so just a few days from now we will have Sheikh Rohi live with us and I believe it's going to be good let us continue the Muslim here is saying Christian monk do you want to debate face to face my friend i don't debate face to face i prefer as to us i mean what does that mean just to show you how silly they are i mean like they cannot debate me they cannot answer me they cannot challenge me do you want to debate face to face brother sitter if you know that there is the person his name is the crap from print and that guy he don't throw his faith we need to ask ourselves what is the reason and the real reason behind hiding his faith Reason number one, it is possible that he look exactly like a monkey. Reason number two, maybe he is bold and he is very short. Reason number three, he is afraid. And this is the most possible reason. I mean, what the heck? <laughs> what? You want to debate face to face? <laughs> you, you want to debate kitchen to kitchen? What about we debate? Uh, I mean, I'm, they all hurry. I mean, I don't know what to say. 
Now, what nonsense, nonsense are, are nonsense men, your argument and excuse can be dismantled easy. Like what? Like what? Which one? Like the one your prophet, you say that the punishment of the grave because of the piss. <laughs> God will torture you because you piss. I mean, have you ever heard of a God like this? Abdullah, what's wrong with you? You are the one who's talking about logic and nonsense and sense. Do you do you Muslims have any sense? God, he will reward you in heaven. He make your private part endless, and you 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 will give you eighty thousand private part for women, and eighty thousand child to be your servant, as you Muslims claim. That makes sense. So to make one person happy, I have to enslave 160,000 human being, 80,000 for sex and 80,000 to serve me. And that makes sense. I love it when a Muslim he speak about sense. It makes sense that Islam teach you to go and have two and a three and four wives and if you cannot afford four now you go to one makes sense right but god he created adam and eve not adam and eve's what four women can do to a man one woman she cannot do what is the purpose of having wives why you will not have a wife a woman she love you and you love her you see Having many wives create a disaster inside the house. The first thing will happen, women, they will be jealous from each other. Number two, they will be fighting. Number three, the children, they will hate each other because everyone will take the side of his mom. When a kid, he go inside the room of his, his mother's bedroom and he find her crying, mom, what's wrong? Oh, that she is, you know, she took the gift he's given her. He spent money on her. You don't bring us anything. This guy, he will hate his father and he will hate the child of his father from that woman. You know what I mean? It's a fact. So it is not a healthy solution for any society. I remember when I was a child. A Muslim child, we were playing together. He said to his brother, If your mom, I said, Why you are saying to him that man? Isn't his mom your mom? He said, No, his mom is not my mom. This is my dad, he from the other wife. <laughs> what kind of family this family is? You know what I mean? What kind of family this family is? A brother, he said to his brother, If your mom, but this is what kind of of society you create in Islam they have many children they hate each other they are jealous from each other they fight each other they and imagine what would happen when the father die when they start shooting each other over the money and we find that in the life of Muhammad even the Quran says so if you remember the stories of the gifts which Muhammad was receiving in the house of Aisha. And the wives of Muhammad, they have a strike against Muhammad. And they were so upset because Muhammad is not being fair. He accept the gifts in the house of Aisha. And the other wives, they got nothing. So the wives of Aisha, the wife, sorry, uh, Aisha, the wife of Muhammad, uh, She created a chaos between, between the, the other wives based on jealousy and why she got and the, the jealousy and fear. I mean, it's not fair. You see the Quran, the Muslim, they say to us that you have to be fair with the with the wives. 
you have to be fair with the wives okay was Muhammad fair with his wives in that story alone it show us how crazy the life of Muhammad was and how unfair he is or he was if we go in the hadith let us try to find it all right <clears throat> here you will see the story read with me carefully Muslims and that will show you how much Muhammad was a person of being unfair and how marrying multiple wives is a disaster for any family it's not a solution as the Muslims they claim it is a stupidity a man he have one wife he might go crazy one woman she might drive you crazy and make you jump from the sixth floor so imagine you have four wives and four mother-in-law four I mean you must be mentally ill to have all those women what you would do with them Four? Like, are you crazy? Four, four, really four? Muhammad, he have 13, not four. Muhammad, the hypocrite, and this is another side of the hypocrisy of this prophet, that he make a law for the Muslims and he have a special law for him. Have you ever heard of such a prophet? In Islam, there's a law for all the Muslims. And there's a law for Muhammad. Muhammad, he can sleep with any woman. Any woman she can give herself. This is a privilege for the Prophet. Muhammad, he can have unlimited numbers of wives. This is a privilege for the Prophet. Muhammad, he can do whatever he wish. You ask the Muslims, why? I thought you are allowed only to have four wives. Why the Prophet, he have uh, 13 according to your books? He said, because he's the Prophet. Oh, I yeah. Huh? Because he is the CEO? <laughs> <laughs> he is the CEO. <laughs> yeah, but all the privilege of Muhammad is about sex, money. That's it. In the front of us, it is going to show us a great example of how Muhammad is a hypocrite man. If you ask any Muslim right now, what is the rules of marrying more than women? In Islam, they say to you, Oh, the Quran says you have to be fair. The Quran says you will never be fair anyway. It's a contradiction. And how you can be fair? How you can be fair with anybody if it's about emotional? I mean, if I have four wives and now I kissed Aisha, so now I have to go and kiss Fatima. So I, I will write down, Okay, I kissed Fatima one kiss. Now she Aisha, uh, I, I have to go and kiss Aisha, and now I have to go and kiss Hafsa, and now I have 13 wives. So I have to give 13 kisses equally. I have to give 13 touches equally. I have to give 13 gifts equally. But Muhammad was not doing that. And the proof in the front of you. Read carefully, guys, with me. And by the way, the Muslims, the first thing the Muslims will say to you. Christian Prince is reading for you a weak hadith. Hmm? This is Sahih al-Bukhari, my friend. This is not a weak hadith. I wish we can make this thing disappear. I don't know how to do it. Okay, I think we have to move it here. All right. Read carefully with me. The people used. The people what? Used. Used to do what exactly? You see, guys, the Muslim, they say to you, the Prophet, he died poor, man. I mean, the Prophet, he died so poor. Mm -hmm. The Prophet, he gave every one of the family of Abu Sufyan 100 camel gift. You see how poor he is? Aisha, she used to receive in her anniversary of marrying the Prophet hundreds of thousands of pounds. 
and here the proof in front of us as an example the people used to send present to the Prophet on the day of Aisha turn see Muhammad is you have a ticket everybody in his turn anyone knows why why they send the gifts only in the day of Aisha who knows who can help me with this one what is the reason the Muslims they send the gifts in the day of Aisha when which mean when Muhammad is in the house of Aisha and you see how poor Muhammad is Muhammad is poor to the point he have 13 wives and 13 houses and this is the house of Aisha now because Aisha is the spoiled wife of Muhammad she is the baby hmm? remember Muhammad he have uh, he cannot resist the teenage because Aisha at this time he, she became close to be a youth he married her when she was a baby she was six years old and now maybe she is like going 12 13 you know all the Muslims they don't send the gift to Muhammad anywhere until he arrived to the house of Aisha why for very simple reason if you send the gift to the house of Aisha Aisha she will do intercession for you because now she will return the favor to you so what do you want you want something from the Prophet remember here Muhammad is a king he is not just a prophet this guy with a, with a move of his finger he can cut your throat so you want something from the Prophet in other way you want to bribe him so the bribe will work better and this is what they notice when they send it to the house of Aisha based on the experience if they send it to the house of Aisha whoever send the gift to Aisha in the house of Aisha Aisha she make it work she make it happen your request from the Prophet come to be true so the Muslims they notice that and they start sending the gifts only when he is in the house of Aisha then we notice here in the story that the wives of Muhammad <coughs> Hold on. Let us be sure all the text is showing. All right. <clears throat> My throat is dry today because I drank some coffee. So sad. I can't drink coffee, <clears throat> but I miss it. Huh. Anyway. Uh, each time I drink coffee my throat go crazy I have allergy from it you know uh, I don't want to change the topic but imagine in the year 2010 my throat is totally I can't talk and I went to doctors and those they speak about science right science you know science I found that the science is really stupid still None of the doctors was able to tell me what is the problem. They checked my body is healthy, everything's fine. They said to me, you have two hearts, five flavors, seven arms. I mean, you look like an octopus, but every, everything is perfect, more than perfect. So what the problem, we do not know. And then I notice that each time I drink coffee, this is go crazy. You know what I mean? So I said to myself, those doctors are a piece of garbage. Nobody asked me even what you, do, what you ate today. So I stopped drinking coffee. And since then I have no problem yeah I speak of, I mean I, I drink a very very heavy duty coffee if you drink the coffee I drink you will stay awake for the coming 10 years let us continue here so here it says um Salama uh, the, the wives of the Prophet they gathered in the house of um Salama here we go we have a conference the whole conference the United Nation of the wives of Muhammad the United Nation of the Wives of Muhammad, the first conference in history of the wives of the Prophet, peace upon him, in the house of Ummu Salama. Do you see how small the house? Ummu Salama, by Allah, said, by Allah, the, the people they choose to send present on the day of Aisha. Turn. And we love, and we too love the good, i.e., the present. So those women, they say, okay, well, this is not fair. 
the wives are gathering now they are, they are making a united front asking for their right she is a wife they are wives too why the, the why the gifts they go there and you know what even if the gifts they go there why Muhammad did not divide them and send them to the wives you know what I mean let us say I am uh, I am Muhammad huh? and now I'm receiving a lot of a bribes because what those gifts for why Muhammad is accepting those gifts anyone can tell me what what is the purpose of those gifts donation Muhammad is poor he have the fifth of the booty he have payment before any uh, meeting in private with him I can show you the verse from the Quran the best of the booty he have fifth of the booty he have uh, uh, you know he have tons of uh, income a lot of income actually Muhammad when he you know like the Muslim they say to you oh the Prophet was not taking the fifth so Muhammad he said in the Quran I would take the fifth but he did not take the fifth you're right he made a verse about it how Muhammad can open 13 houses how Muhammad can afford to pay Abu Sufyan hundreds of camels and his family how Muhammad can afford all those things but yet he is a poor man 13 houses 13 cook how many servant every house have how many slaves every house have so now the wives here they are complaining about the injustice of the prophet because this is not the fault of Aisha at the end of the day Aisha she's just a kid it is the fault of the prophet who claimed to be a prophet for not being fair if I am a man and I have many wives and I receive gifts in the house of Aisha, let us say the people they decide to send it when I am in that house. Okay, no problem. What about after I receive the gift? I divide it and send it to all my 13 wives. This is your share, this is your share, this is your share. Muhammad, he don't like this idea for a very simple reason. Aisha is his favorite spoiled child wife. At the end of the day those gifts are his own and he chose who is going to enjoy it more and he decide it is Aisha read with me carefully Aisha as does you should tell Allah messenger to tell the people to send their present to him wherever he may be I mean this is fair you see the, the wives are not asking for something impossible you should ask the people to send their gift wherever the, the prophet is you should tell them why you are sending it only when i'm here when he is here in my house send it anywhere he is it doesn't matter what house you know and let us say whatever it is everybody get his gift Aisha, she don't like that so after they complain to aisha and aisha she didn't like it she liked to have the gifts to be rich and wealthy then the, the, the wives of Muhammad uh, they spoke to Muhammad saying to him well Allah messenger uh, you know they, they came to him first here they they, they told uh, uh, you know they, they told this woman to tell the, the Aisha and to tell Allah messenger that you should do that you should distribute the, the the gift to all of us equally or at least to send the gifts when wherever you are in located whatever turn you are there might be any wives of the wives Ummu Salama said that to the Prophet so she now she confirmed to the Prophet that we are unhappy with this this is not right the Prophet and he turned away from her he ignored her I mean look at the justice of such a prophet we they are the wives those are not the neighbors those are not a bunch of potatoes walking in the street those people he sleep with those women he you know I don't want to go dirty he have sex with them they are his wives they are according to Islam they are his property and yet he don't care he turned away which means he heard nothing as if he heard nothing and when the prophet returned to her 
i.e. Umm Salama. Now, this is the second time, which means this is the turn of Umm Salama to sleep with Umm Salama. She repeated the same. She said that again, she's repeating. The Prophet again turned away. And she told him, and when she told him the same for the third time, what, what, what? Hold on. Muhammad is playing deaf, blind, mute, and he is not even discussing that with her. You see the poor woman? She is talking. She is talking to herself. She spoke to him for the third time. And now Muhammad he decided to open his mouth, saying to her the reality. And the reality is ugly. He said to her. And when she told him the same for the third time, the Prophet said, Oh, Ummu Salama, don't, he's warning her, don't trouble me by harming Aisha. What? Who is harming Aisha? What does this have to do with Aisha? All what they are asking you for, send the gifts equally between the wives. Muhammad, he considered that as a harming to Aisha. He have no problem to harm all the 12 wives. He want to harm Aisha. No, don't harm Aisha. Harming the other 12 is not a problem. Harming Aisha is a problem for him. And nobody is harming. This is about justice. This is about fear. Still, Aisha, she will receive her gifts. Who is harming Aisha? But look at the mentality of this sick man. Instead of being fair and justice between his wives, he is saying, no, don't harm in Aisha. And look what he said. By Allah, the divine inspiration never come to me while, while I was under the blanket of any women again amongst you. By the way, the hadith doesn't say blanket. The hadith says thawb, which means a cloth. Muhammad, when he go in his house, his wife's house, he liked to wear women clothes. Which is fishy. In case you do not know, Muhammad he pissed like women. He put eyeliner. And you know, I understand that eyeliner can be used like in the Middle East, uh, especially in the old days, as a medicine. But you don't do it every day. I mean, if you are sick in your eyes and you want to kill some uh, bacteria around your eyes, you can use that kind of eyeliner because what eyeliner would do will stop them from breathing the bacteria. You know, they cannot like survive. It's like Muting their their uh, 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 they cannot they cannot uh, survive. So, but Muhammad he used the eyeliner three times a day, without being sick, just to be pretty. Muhammad he pissed like a woman. I can show you the hate. Even the Arab they are wondering why he's doing that. He said, "Look at him. He he he, he pissed like a woman." Muhammad he wear his wife clothes, and now he's claiming. That he never received the Quran in any clothes of any woman except the clothes of Aisha. So must Aisha be a holy woman? And look at this logic. And look at this lie. Isn't it Muslims they say to us that Muhammad he received Quran when he was with, with Khadija? Isn't it there is a chapter? It's called Imtihanul Wahi, which means the uh, the the examination of the inspiration, and it was by the legs. And the hips and the breast of Khadija when she did striptease, and he discovered that this is an angel, which means the angel was coming to his house in the house of Khadija. And now he's claiming that no, he never received in any way or except so. What does that mean? And Allah only He sent, I mean, guys, look at this Allah sent only His angels to the house of Aisha. Allah obviously He inspired the Prophet that look. Let the gifts come to the house of Aisha because Aisha is the favorite wife to Allah too. Because obviously Allah is favoring the house of Aisha and favoring the clothes of Aisha. You know what I mean? Look at this stupid logic. And the Muslim, they say to us, Islam, yes, allow us to marry more than a wife, but we have to be equally fair. Where is the fair? So one woman she can have one hundred dress and one the other woman she have one. One woman she have like uh, five kilograms of gold as a bracelets and necklace 
and the other one she have one ring or maybe she have nothing one woman she can receive all the gifts and the other women's all the wives they receive nothing and this is the prophet who they try to present him to us that he is the person who teach justice and being fair do we have any muslim would like to call me look at this abdul let me show you how the muslims try to refute us instead of answering what we are saying he just call us names let us let us, let us show you hold on just to show you give you an idea how the muslims they think and how they behave this guy his name adam muhammad <clears throat> funny name i mean they don't match what adam muhammad Adamu, does that mean Qadamu? You are the foot of Muhammad. Well, nice to meet you. Should we shake hands, foot of Muhammad? Look what this gentleman is saying. This fool is just sex, uh, uh, succeeding in brainwashing those that don't go for additional research okay here we go help us call us guys we want to do additional research is it this we did research my friend we find that your prophet he was not fair we did the research help us he could call me guys do you think this guy adamu adamu muhammad he's he have the courage to call me call me and and, and correct us as you see i am succeeding to brainwash people you need to stand up and show everybody that you i'm, I'm, I'm wrong It describe how the Quran so the sun we are not talking about the Quran now call me about the Quran no problem let us talk about the Quran my friend who is uh, look at the Muslims guys look at the drama let me show you how the Muslim feel when he is talking to me or he is listening to me I'm just trying to 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 show you how Muslims really feel what about you call me and I will help you with your tears. What do you think about calling me, Mr. Adamu? Call me as you see, I'm successful of brainwashing people. Brainwashing, why? I'm promising people if you believe in me, I will give you an endless penis. Is that me or your prophet? Is that me who promise you if you go and kill a bunch of kids in the bus station or attack a church or go in a, in, in a, in a train and explode your, your, yourself, you will get the versions? And you are talking about brainwash? You don't have a brain to wash it. It's washed a long time ago. The second you are a Muslim, you are obviously have nothing to wash. Everything is gone. A Muslim talking about brainwash you believe it the brainwash is to lie to yourself and claim that the prophet was treating his wives justly but the story in the front of us which is coming from your reference and it is authentic reference you Muslims agree with it proving that Muhammad was a bad person very bad extremely bad what kind of a prophet he do that to his wives? <clears throat> you will notice in different report of the story how even Muslims they send one of the daughters of Khadija, which supposedly his stepdaughters. Muslim they claim that this is a real daughter, but I don't believe so. Even to be involved and to ask her stepfather to stop being unfair. Still, Muhammad, he played deaf, mute, blind. You see how many times the story is reported? All of those. All of those. Here is the story of Muhammad, daughter, involving The wives of Muhammad, Aisha and Hafsa and Safiya and Sauda, blah, 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 blah. Look, the party, Democrat, Republican, all is against Trump now. Muhammad here is a Trump. 
and they are complaining about the same thing it says here Allah messenger the Muslims know guys read with me carefully read with me carefully you see I'm not the one who's saying that Muhammad he he made it clear to all the Muslims that he favor Aisha more than anyone else read carefully with me the Muslim know that Allah messenger loved Aisha so if any of them had a gift and wish to give to Allah messenger he would delay it till Allah messenger had come to Aisha home and then he would send his gift to Allah messenger in her home the group of Ummu Salama see we have two parties here two parties of wives the group of Ummu Salama discuss the matter together and decide that Ummu Salama should request Allah messenger to tell the people to send their gifts to him in whatever wives house he was Ummu Salama told Allah messenger of what they had said but he did not even reply i mean it's like you're a piece of garbage who why he will reply to you you are just a wife man you are just a wife of many wives who are you he is there just to have sex with you take off your panty then they the wives ask um Salama about it she said he did not say anything to me he did not reply they said they asked her to talk to him again she talked to him again when she met him in her day but he gave no reply like what the heck when they asked her she replied that he have given no reply reply they said to her talk to him talk keep talking to him till he give a reply i mean those women obviously they are desperate i mean this is not fair when it was her turn she talked to him again which means this is again and again and again and again and muhammad playing deaf he he heard nothing he said nothing then he said to her don't hurt me regarding Aisha as divine inspiration do not come to me in any of the beds you see guys how 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 the how the story changed in the other translation they say a blanket now it is a bed now it's a bed if we go to the Arabic hmm? in Arabic it says the word thawb mean dress thawb mean dress let us do this actually live in front of you let me open google translation hold on google translation All right, what we will do in the front of your eyes, I am going to copy the word thawb as it is. Copy. Do you see it? And let us go to Google Translation and see what the word thawb mean. And then I will take the rest of the sentence. But for in the beginning, let us take the word thawb. We paste here. I mean, this is very weird translation. I think because of the valves. Let us type the word without valves. I think Google is confused. Thope. Dress. Dress. It is not a blanket. It is not a bed. All right. Let us take the rest of the hadith. Or let us take it from here to here so gogo will not be confused much let us see so now we know that the word thawb mean dress we paste where is the english translation did not dictate arabic i think it's uh, confused with the arabic because of the well don't hurt me in aisha the revelation did not come to me in a woman in, to me, I am in a, in a women dress. Do you see it? Guys, do you see it? The translation is not really accurate, but it's close. Don't hurt me in Aisha, for revelation never come to me in any women clothes except Aisha. This is what it says. 
the Muslims in order to hide this disaster that their prophet he wear women clothes they fabricate the translation however not important for now this is not our topic the topic is that Muhammad is being unjust and fair with his wives and he is abusing their rights and the right are not happy that the wives and here you will see your wives and send uh, okay here now look at this then the group after they spoke to him many time and they noticed that he will not do their request then the group of Ummu Salama called Fatima the daughter of Allah messenger and sent her to Allah messenger to say to him your wives request to treat them and the daughter of Abu Bakr on equal terms that's all I mean is that is that legitimate yes is that right absolutely even the Quran says you have to treat your wife equally the Quran says so but yet Muhammad is still insist he will not do that because he is a false man he is a false prophet why in the world the prophet will not treat his wives equally any Muslim can tell me as you see they will not his daughter she will not dare to say that to her father who is a stepfather not a real father by the way but the Muslim believe that this is a real father for her she is saying to him they are requesting you to treat them equally Muhammad did not say this is not this is I'm, I'm treating you equally he did not say uh, they are wrong it's equal treating he know it is not equal then then Fatima conveyed the message to him the prophet said oh my daughter don't you love me don't you love who I love she's she replied affirmative and returned and told them of the situation that don't try don't try don't you love what I love then Aisha she will get the gifts And then the story continued, the drama of the gifts continue. The daughter of Muhammad, she came now and she told them about the situation. They requested her to go to him again. I mean, those women, they are desperate, man. Then they sent Zainab bin Tujash. Zainab bin Tujash is the wife who is the, the most beautiful woman in Quraysh. Who Muhammad he favor after Aisha Aisha because she is so young so still she is his favorite Zainab bin Tujahsh is the the wife of his of Muhammad son who Muhammad took her from his son after he flirted with her and most likely he was sleeping with her when she was married to his own son so they sent Zainab bin Tujahsh to who went to him and he used harsh words saying look women they are getting so angry now saying your wives request you to treat them and the daughter of Abu Kuhafa you know, she's trying to, to insult Abu Bakr now on equal terms on that she raised her voice and abused Aisha look this is a real fight the nails of the females is coming out What she did she raised her voice and abused Aisha so maybe she said the F word to Aisha she said to her you are a piece of beep your father is beep your mother is beep they start fighting to her face so much so that Allah messenger looked at Aisha and look at this idiot he is just enjoying the fight he don't tell her stop he don't tell that eh, he just you know, fight having fun his chickens are fighting the prophet uh, the messenger of Allah look at Aisha to see what what whether she would re, re, retort Aisha started the bullying now is the term of Aisha oh Zainab Zainab you are a shish kebab Zainab look at your ass Zainab she is it's a big and not round not like like mine Zainab you are jealous because I have a three bro boobs and you have two boobs uh, Zainab you know I mean what, what, what kind of and the prophet is just watching 
So she he replied to Zainab till she silenced her. Obviously, Aisha have a big mouth. She silenced that woman, even though it's not her right. And the Prophet looked at Aisha and said, She is really the daughter of her father. <laughs> what a story! <laughs> So the Muslim propaganda, they give us speeches about how wonderful the prophet and how justice he is. A man, he can't even be justice inside his house, how he can be justice anywhere. And now they will say to you, I am misquoting. Misquoting what? This is the hadith in front of you. This is your website and this is your reference and this is a strong hadith. This is strong hadith don't tell me weak muslims don't tell me weak this is sahir bukhari and it is not weak and again and again weak hadith is accepted in islam but this one is not even weak it is a strong it have like the power of 100 horses and a mule so they lie to us saying that the prophet was the best example is that the best example is that how the best example treat his wives? If you cannot be just and fair inside your household, how you can be just outside? Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim would like to give me a call? Guys, forget about this guy. Who, you know, Muslims, they come here and they say, I used to be, I uh, used to be, and I became a Muslim. This is a joke. People are leaving Islam left and right, my friend. People who convert to Islam mostly are women who they are seeking marriage from a Abdul. And then when they get divorced, they leave Islam. So don't play the game here. And not only that, after they get divorced and they leave Islam, they fight Islam more than anyone else. I remember a woman who converted to Islam, and she spoke to me live, actually, in you know, in my program. She said, <clears throat> uh, when when she converted to Islam, everything they told her have nothing to do with what Islam is about. She took shahada because they told her something beautiful about Islam. Islam is against slavery. Islam is about justice. Islam is so beautiful. Islam is about peace. Islam means peace. This is what the Torah. So they gave her an image. It's like uh, going in paradise. It's like it's really paradise. Coconut trees, palm trees, white sand. Everybody is peaceful. Everybody is loving. And you know, when you are a Western person and you are going to convert to Islam, the Muslim they surround you. And they warm you up. They cover you with their, like they say, they invite you, uh, they invite you to lunch, invite you to dinner. Everybody, everybody take really so much care of you because they want you to be convinced that this is what you are looking for now. This is a family. We are a family here. They give you all the attention which, which you cannot find in your society, in your Western society. It's a cold society. Most of them, they don't see their parents, family, brothers, sisters, it's not, you know, because because of, of atheism taking over of the society. So everybody became a long God, you know. Everybody is worshipping himself. So family is not strong no more in most of European countries, especially. The Muslims, they will give you a different treatment. They will make you believe that we are family people. But as you see, the family of Islam is corrupt. As you see, the prophet of Islam is a corrupt man he is a person who cannot be just and fair with his own wives so what about abdul but in order to convert to islam they show you a treatment you never saw before you became like a superstar everybody want to invite you everybody come over you know give you hugs when they see you after you convert to islam a week two weeks three weeks month a year ago and then you are no one you are just a regular muslim now you are not a superstar who was there a year ago. 
those people who they are seeking attention and the attention now is gone so what they do they decide to leave Islam because they thought something and they got something else They need the attention, they need the family, they need etc. And then you find other uh, kind of those who convert to Islam, like women who they are seeking a husband, especially in certain age. You know, Muslims they marry all kind of ages because simply they are seeking you know green card, uh, residency, refugee. They don't care. They marry you just to get something out of you. Uh, even a free food, a free shelter, he will marry you. He don't care. They will marry you. And after they get your green card or his residency or he don't need you no more he dump you or even if you are beautiful and you are still young the husband is from Jordan this is a real story about the husband is from Jordan he told the wife every year he need to go to Jordan to see his family there okay go so he started going more after he got his uh, his uh, his residency he started getting more and more going to Jordan and then he became like going every month almost and then I mean like this guy is coming like he stayed there for he stayed he stayed in Jordan more than he stay in England the women she became so suspicious about it so later she found that he have a new wife there she is young 16 15 years old you know and he is married to a woman she is maybe 40 I mean for sure, he will favor her the same as he, as Muhammad favored Aisha, as you see. And I told her, well, uh, don't you know that the Muslims believe that they can have many wives anyway? I mean, when you when you when you sign a contract, and this is a sex contract, not marriage, because Muslims don't get married. Muslims they sign a sex contract. It's an employment contract for sex. This is why you get a down payment when you hired and you get a file final payment when you are fired Muslim women she don't get the half of the property of a Muslim if he divorce her She get only what is written in the contract as a final payment for the wages the Quran says so So when you marry a Muslim man, you just sign the contract of sex, not a contract of marriage. This is why it's called nukah. What the word nukah mean? You see the Muslim, they say to you nukah mean marriage. That is a big fat lie. The word nukah mean literally the F word. It's your fault. Let me find you the Muslim website. To what Nikah mean? All right, hold on. Let us see. Here we go. Let me pause for you in the screen and show you what the word nikah mean. Because Muslims they say, "Oh, you are lying." Doesn't say that. The word nikah mean marriage. If you read on all the Quran, the word nikah. This is alislam.org. As you see, this is not my website. Take a note, alislam.org. Do you see it? And look how the Muslims in the same page they are saying to us what the word nukah mean is the same page saying Mary but doesn't say Mary it says inkahu F if you go down a little bit 
you will see the, fo the, the, the following from their own statement, not mine. Let us see. Where is let us find it? All right. Read with me carefully, please. The importance of sex in marriage. Islam marriage is not restricted platonic relationship between husband and wife, nor it's slowly, so, uh, so, uh, solely, for pres uh, 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 procreation. The Islamic term of marriage, nikah, literally, means sexual intercourse do you see it do you see it muslims allah did not say in the quran go and get married allah he said in the quran go and do nukah to two and three and four go and do if you see the muslims here trying to be let us say uh, i mean they are using a language to make it look hard less, less harsh and disgusting it doesn't say even sexual intercourse. It says the effort. Go and do the effort. Literally, this is what the word nikah means. And this is your Muslim website, not my website. So when a person, when a woman, she made a stupid decision and she decided to marry a Muslim, she is not marrying a Muslim. In fact, she is doing a contract of nikah, which is a sex contract. It is just a pure sex contract. Why in the world a woman she want to do that? You better work as a hooker then. You will make more money. If you are not a person who have any ethical problem to sex for money, for exchange of benefit and getting paid as the Quran says will work as a hooker for you are in Islam not a wife you are just a hooker he have he can he have the right to hire fire hookers for, for hookers and he can replace you and fire you anytime anytime he can wake up in the morning he says all of you four go get out that's it your employee he can fire you anytime he wish. This is not a marriage. You can go right now and search in Google. You will find that Muslims, even they are allowed to fire you as a wife by sending you a text message to your phone. You do not even need to go to the court. That's it. I remember a Muslim woman, she said to my mom, my mom was going in the kitchen. It was, she was cooking. I was sitting at the table. I was a kid. And she said to her, good for you. For sure you will eat from your food. My mom, she said, what do you mean? She said, well, we are Muslims. You know, maybe uh, maybe my husband, he came back angry from somebody. And he, you know, he divorced me. She's not sure the poor woman, if she would eat from the food she just cooked. This is how Muslim women, they feel. They are they are insecure. You see, uh, uh, if you try to convince yourself that you are married to a man in Islam, you are fooling yourself. You are hired by a man for sex, for you are insecure. Any time he can get out of get rid of you. There is nothing of Islam restrict him from doing that. Actually, Muslims are encouraged in Islam to do what it's called renting a woman. You can rent a woman. You can what? You can rent a woman. Let me show you. Hold on. I'm not making things up, my friends. 
I'm not making things up. I show everything I say. And I challenge any Muslim to say this guy is not telling the truth. Let me show you. Hold on. <clears throat> All right. Read carefully with me, please. This is alislam.org. This is an Islamic scholar's website, not my website. The four pillars of muta. What is muta? Do you know what muta mean? Muta is a sexual pleasure between a man and a woman for exchange of money and goods. And the Muslim, they have four pillars for it. I mean, look how look how organized the prostitution in Islam. So now, what is the muta? The muta, the Muslim, this I try to say to you, it is marriage, my friend. And the prophet, yes, he allowed it in certain time, and you know, but then it was forbidden. False, never been forbidden. The Quran never have a verse says this is a muta. You don't do it no more. The Shia they still practice in the muta. The Muslim Sunni still practice the muta, but they give it different name. As an example, the Muslim Sunni they have a muta. It's called zawaj of friend, which means marry a friend. What does that mean? What does that mean? It's mean you have a girl you want to sleep with her. Let us do it halal way. So we, I marry you. We rent a route, uh, uh, a room in the hotel for a few days. We have sex, and then you go. That's it. There's a, something is called for the Sunni, uh, 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 like zawajul uh, misyar. There's a there's a travel uh, travel uh, uh, marriage. You are going to go overseas, and now you will be, let's say, in England, but you are from Saudi Arabia. What do you do? Islam allowed you to marry a temporary woman during your vacation. You marry her for a week, two weeks, two months, no problem. And then when the vacation is over, you let her go. You fire her. But they call it marriage. Now let us see what is really this muta is, according to the Muslims. Hold on. You will see with me. But you will not believe. Read with me carefully, please. In some works, a special term is applied for women who participate in the muta. Hmm? Or mustajar or rented women. Do you see it, guys? People, do you see what the Muslims believe in the women? She is a practicing what the Muslims they call it nukah in Islam. This is nukah al muta. She is a rented woman. I'm not the one who's saying that. This is the scholars of Islam is speaking about what this is about. A woman, she marry a Muslim. She is a rented woman. How in the world? A woman she can do such a thing to herself unless she accept to be a hooker do you see it you see if I am a translating they will say to you he is giving you false translation if I am uh, you know making my own article they will say oh this guy is lying to you this is alislam.org and the one is talking there their beard is longer than my eyebrows let me show you how big their beard is you will not believe it I thought my eyebrows is so big but look like this uh, I'm disappointed now just to show you what kind of website we are reading from? <clears throat> okay, let's go here. All right. You see all those topics, you choose one. Let us see first where we will go. Uh, where we need to go brief and greed education law worship history politics 
Quran and Hadith. I don't know. Let us see. We want to go to okay. Where we can find about the the website. I'm just trying to show you. Look at this. Here we go. We found some of the pictures of the of the sheikhs. This is not something is like uh, 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 you know like uh, what is new? What is popular? Let us see. What is popular? Look at the sheikhs. Look. Look at the sheikhs, my friends. Now this is they they have a, like a, an audio and video class. Uh, oh, we are searching. I'm just trying just to show you the okay, general. Let us see, General. Just to show you the pictures of those who they are in this, uh, you will see how big their beard is. Look at this. And here, by the way, they are attacking the Shia. They are attacking Taqiyya. Uh, uh, I don't know if this is uh, attacking this guy or they are just playing his video. Yeah. Anyway. So this is the Muslim website, this is their scholars, and this is their explanation. Women, she is doing marriage in Islam, she is rented women. Why you Muslims, let me give you an idea. Why you Muslims, you create an app like Uber and you rent women by Uber? I mean, like make it uh, uh, halal Uber. Where a person he go to the uh, app in his phone and he rent a woman there. Shouldn't we use the technology for the sake of Allah? A man he is horny. It's in the middle of the night and he need a, a rented woman. You believe it or not, guys? In Islamic Shia countries specifically, they have offices doing business like you know, match.com, horny.com, uh, cheating.com, all those websites. You know, they have they have physical offices in the street where you can go to the sheikh and you say to him, I want to do muta. Can you find me a female? And females they come to the sheikh and they say to him, I am available for muta. Simply, she want to make some money. So the sheikh he called her. He called her. He says, "I have a guy here. He is like, uh, uh, let us say, eighty-three years old, young. You know, he is younger than Christian Prince, and uh, he is better looking too. I mean, no way. So now he, he off. She asked. She asked how much he offer. Uh, he offer you like fifty dollars. Oh, fifty dollars. I refuse a guy just like yesterday. He offered me eighty. They, dis they start discussing the bazaar. Actually, there's a documentary. I wish I can play it here. Documentary about muta in Iran, prostitution. It's a prostitution, but it's called muta. Go and watch it. How women in Iran, they sell themselves for sex. It is legal. You see, they will not be arrested by the police because in, in this cult, it is marriage. She is rented for sex, yes. She is getting paid for sex, yes, but it's according to Islam, it is okay. And yet they want to say to us that Islam is a good religion. And they want to say to us that Islam teach you a good ethic. I mean, do you see how much ethic is there? A lot of ethic. I mean, the ethic is dropping like crazy.
Do we have any Muslim have an objection? Any Muslim? Forget about him because he's a kid. I mean, he's a Muslim, but he don't dare to call me and tell me something good about Islam. Why be you don't call me and tell me about how many women you rented already, according to Islam, and how much money you spend if you're saving to rent women? And if I want to make a deal with you, what is the prices these days? If I want to convert to Islam, huh? and I am thinking to rent some women, can you update us with, with the price? I mean, the price is like, like a, it is like a bracket where like between, the, the, decided by what? How heavy the women? How young? How old? I mean, what is the prices these days? Do you have a, do you have like a, a list of prices? Because we want to rent women. My friend, all of us, we want to convert to Islam right now and practice the amazing ethical teaching of Islam. Rented women, how you Muslims accept that your mother and your sister to be rented? And yet they fool us and they claim that Islam is a religion which is a religion of ethic. And look what the Muslim they say. Oh, do you know that in the West people they have a boyfriend, girlfriend? You see, my friend, first of all, this is not about Christianity. In the West people, they have a freedom. People do whatever they want. You can be a gay if you want. You can be a homo and you can be a child molester, even if you are a priest. But you go to jail then. There's corrupt people everywhere. But there's a huge difference between a God teaching you to be corrupt a God is teaching you to go and rent women and people do their own sin. If a priest is a child molester, he is following Muhammad. Your best example is a child molester. Your best of the best, he is a child molester himself. So why you complain about child molestation? You are being hypocrite. If a child molestation for you is a problem, then you should accept Christianity because Christ, he said clearly that the one who harm little ones is better for him to put a milestone in his neck and throw himself in the deep ocean. This is how bad his crime is. So you can imagine what kind of punishment he will receive from our Lord. That's mean Muhammad in the judgment day, the Messiah, he will put a milestone in his neck of Muhammad and he will throw him in the deep ocean. You have a prophet and you have a God who is teaching you that your mother, she can be rented. Your daughter is for rent. And you have no dignity to be ashamed of it. Because guys, when they say to us that we believe and we understand that muta is a rented woman, Musta'jara, you see in Arabic he says, Muta'a Musta'jara, or translation, rented women. When I am a Muslim and I believe that when I do practice Islam and practice what it's called Nukah or Nikah in Islam, it is renting women. Where is the dignity? And what kind of a prophet he allowed that? The funny, the Muslim, they say to you, the Sunni, they say, oh, you know what? This has happened before the prophet he allowed it why he allowed it oh now he forbid it why he forbid it he allowed people to rent women so at, at that time muhammad he have a bad ethic now he, he fix it he was a prophet when he allowed it and he received a verse in the quran about it and there is nowhere in the quran it says don't do that no more so when you ask a muslim and this is the topic today what is Islam? They give you all kind of answers. None of them have to do with Islam. Islam is a religion worship uh, one God. That's false. That's absolutely false. You Muslims worship many gods. Number one is Muhammad. Number two, number two is your sex. Actually, number one is your sex. Sorry, your private part. 
one of the reasons and the major reason for the Muslims to do jihad is what is their penis this is why you don't find females doing jihad you see if you go if you go like uh, there's a documentary about uh, females uh, who join Hamas and they try to do suicide bombing they arrested some of them and they find that those females most of them they get a bread net out of illegal relationship so what Hamas do or Boko Haram they bring them they say well you committed an illegal relationship and that means the punishment in Islam is stoning to death especially if you are married or even if you are single if we do not kill you your family will kill you because this is an honor killing and they will not be punished for that okay what about we give you a better idea you carry a bomb you walk between the Jews and you explode yourself this way we will consider you as a murder and Allah will forgive your sin and now you will be a hero so the poor girl she have no choice she is dead dead anyway she carried the bomb and she woke and look how funny Muhammad is he copied from the Jews that a woman she committed adultery if she is married the punishment is stoning to death but he is the same guy who made adultery legal so how we can avoid punishment of adultery in Islam just rent a woman just do it in the right way go and find a woman to rent pay her money make an agreement how much you want how much you agree for how long you see in the muta renting or the rental of women in Islam you have to agree both of you about major issues number one how much the man he have to mention clearly how much he offered the women in return of her uh, 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 you know uh, let us say service and the women she have to agree she have to repeat after him says I agree to say I went in the elevator and I found a woman and she I said to her oh you are beautiful are you available yeah I'm available okay I will pay you ten dollars for one day oh ten dollars is too too little you know I don't do men unless they pay me with 25 and more uh, yesterday I did muta and I I, pay, I made more than this and he was younger and more handsome than you okay so okay 25 okay I will pay you 24 all right okay 24 today I'm not busy anyway and there's no customers so now this is the first condition is agreed upon it's not it's not ready not ready yet no the second condition is you have to ask the women and you have to, to mention to the women uh, how long you have to uh, rent her an hour two hours one day three days one week and then she have to repeat after you she's agreeing with the dates which mean if you if you say I want to rent you for one day she have to repeat says I agree to give you myself for one day that's it both of you agree both of you you have a deal the money is clear the timing is clear and now the bed is waiting with some champagne which is the Islamic camel urine and no beer you take the women who you rented to the bed you sleep with her as long as long the time is not up which mean if you are sleeping with this woman and uh, let us say you rented her for two hours and now you are having sex I'm not going to be rude and say exactly what they are doing. You know what I mean, right? They are having sex together in the same moment when the two hours is over. When the two hours is over, the woman, she have to dress up right away and she is haram. Suddenly she is a decent woman. Oh, please, brother, stop. You are my brother now. Stop, please. Where is my burqa? Let me wear my burqa. Where is my panty? Now she is forbidden. You see, in this kind of rental agreement, there is not eat even for divorce. Because it is time preset timing, which means when the time is up, the contract is up, and now she have to wear her panty. If you want to renew the contract, you have to make a new agreement. This is Islam.
This is Islam. And if you don't believe me, the article in front of us is teaching you that. You see here, they are talking about the four pillars of muta. You see, there's pillars. I mean, this guy, those guys are very organized. There's four pillars. And they are showing you where the muta located in the Quran. So those of them women who you enjoy give them their wages this is not a marriage it's an exchange of service she talk of her panty you have sex with her you pay her give her the wages for you enjoy it Actually, a translation here is not accurate because in Arabic it says, Mestam ta'tum be he, be he, not enjoy them. It's you enjoy their private part. Can you bring a fatwa on the muta? Who need the fatwa? This is a fatwa. My, my friend, this is an Islamic scholarship website. This is a fatwa. This is a fatwa. This is not a joke. This is not an article. And then when you go down, they start telling you how the muta work. First, since it's a contract, guys, did I say to you it's a contract? Did I say to you that it is a contract or I did not say that? When I say it's a contract, I'm not making things up. It's a contract. And the Muslims in the front of you says it's a contract. If we go back a little bit, it's what kind of contract it is? It is rental. <laughs> Do you see it? So we have a rental contract. I'm not the one saying that. I'm just reading for you what the Muslim scholars are teaching. Since the contract, it is a contract, what I require a declaration and acceptance exactly as I explained to you so you have to declare to the women I want to have sex with you and I will pay you ten dollars the women she have to make a declaration either of acceptance or rejection because maybe the price is little or maybe she don't agree with the with, with how long so you have to say to her I want to sleep with you for two days as an example not necessarily two days I'm just giving an example you can be make it an hour you can make it a week so I want to sleep with you for two hours and I'm willing to pay you $20. The women she have to say back, well, I accept to sleep with you for two hours and I accept the $20. If that happened, everything is legal. The rental agreement started. And read here carefully with me. I said, it said, to have added that a slave girl may employ the formula I have allowed you Abu etc or I have considered you lawful but this word is not being confirmed by others so they are here they are talking about like some opinion of uh, of uh, 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 scholars uh, I have here, look guys look, read with me apparently there are no disagreement on the point that women may not employ expression like I have given you a position I have given you as a gift it's not allowed it have to be for money you know what I mean it have to be for money I have rented you I have lent you etc so you cannot rent that woman she have to rent herself now see I mean this is amazing unless she is a slave all right <clears throat> the acceptance is made by the man after the woman has made her declaration his word must be must demonstrate that he is satisfied with the declaration for example he may say I will accept the marriage but they just told us that the word nukah is nikah is not marriage it is effort so the fact it is i accept to do intercourse with you or accept muta if you if he should say only i accept or i am satisfied 
the contract is valid. Do you see what make the contract in this cult valid? And yet, they give us speeches about Islam, that it is the religion of ethic. Just to remind you guys, everybody here, this coming Saturday, this coming Saturday, we have a debate with the Sheikh, his name Sheikh Rohi. He is from Egypt. And it was organized by a sister who contacted this uh, gentleman. He is a sheikh from Egypt. He's not a kid like the rest of the Muslims. So we will have a professional debate between two people knows very well about Islam. And as she said here, his name is Ruhi. I do not know really the rest of his name, but suppose he's very well known in Egypt. Uh, so he agreed Saturday at Cairo time, 10.30, which is uh, 4.30 p.m., uh, our time all right so this coming Saturday take a note please we have a hot debate between a Christian Prince and a Muslim cleric his name is Sheikh Rohi so take a note all right uh, Bia is saying he gave me or she gave me a reference Bia I did not get your reference what reference you are talking about Guys, what reference Bia is talking about? What the reference Bia she gave me or he gave me? I'm not looking always. Anyone can tell me what the reference this Bia is talking about? What Bia? What reference? Reference about what? About what? What what is the reference? It's talking about what? It, just give me the, the what, what are you talking about? Okay, copy and paste it again. Copy and paste again, please. No problem. Copy and paste again. Let me see. Let me see it. Now I'm I'm looking at the screen. It is haram. Okay, guys, it's haram. You Muslims, you Muslims are the most funny people. Can you tell me why it's haram? Can you tell me why it's haram? It is in the Quran. How something is allowed in the Quran is haram. I will tell you why. After Muhammad he passed away, Muslims they start getting disgusted with this. So they decide to abandon this teaching because their daughters are going out and, and, and sleeping around. And it is halal. You cannot even say to your daughter, you cannot do that. It is in the Quran. How you can stop something in the Quran? Can you post for me the link of the fatwa, please? Bia? It was narrated. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me search for the same thing she posed for me. Can you post the rest of the hadith, please? Okay. Hold on. I will try to find what she what he is posting for us. All right, I got the website. All right, guys, let us see the website. Be a uh, posted for us, and I will show you right away how Muslims are funny. <clears throat> Islamic question and answer. Muta marriage and refutation of those Rafidas, which means the Shia, who permitted. Could you please tell me if such a concept of temporarily as temporarily marriage in Islam, which is Rentern, would like to know? Uh, uh, because a friend of mine has read a book by Professor Abi Qasim, whatever, etc., about temporary marriage. Let us go to the answer. Praise be to Allah. Muta marriage prefer. To when a man marries a woman for a specific length of time in return of a practical amount of money. The basic principle concerning the marriage, it would that should be ongoing and permanent, permanent. Temporary marriage, I muta, was permitted 
in the beginning of Islam so we just uh, we got we got a confirmation that muta was in the beginning of Islam allowed and it was as something Muhammad created which means people are not practicing this it is the creation of Muhammad so now you are saying to me it's haram correct you Bia, you said to me it's haram how you answer about it was halal let us say for the sake of argument now it's haram so what kind of a prophet what kind of ethic he teach you you can go or rent a woman guys is that a fair question I am going with the logic of the Abdul who they are Sunni the Sunni now they don't practice this but this is a verse in the Quran chapter 4 verse 24 what was the logic of Allah of allowing a man to go or rent women The word marriage in the verse. Let me let me finish uh, Darius first, and I will answer you. Let me finish with this uh, person here. What well, Allah, uh, 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 Allah, Allah at that time when He allowed this, He was not a good ethical person. What is the reason to rent women? Anybody can give me a reason. Why Moses did not allow to rent women? Why Jesus did not allow to rent women? Why Muhammad is renting women? So in your website, the one you gave me, you just admitted that it was lawful in a certain time. However, can you show me a verse from the Quran saying that this is not lawful for no more? You guys, you know what I'm saying? Can you show me a verse from the Quran? I challenge all the Muslim. To show me one verse in the Quran says that muta is not allowed no more. Who want to show me that? What they will show you a hadith. Allowed to do it is haram. What do you mean allowed to do? It says it's allowed. It was permitted. It was permitted. <laughs> then it was abrogated. Listen to this, guys. Then it was abrogated. And become haram until the day of judgment, abrogated by who? Hadith. Hadith. You want to abrogate the Quran by hadith? Listen to this, guys. Can we abrogate the word of Allah by the word of a prophet? When we say abrogate, which means it is cancelled. Can we cancel the word of the authority of God? Which Muslims consider him their God, Allah supposedly, not my God. Can we cancel the authority of the word of God by the authority of the word of the Prophet? Any Muslim can answer? According to the Quran, you cannot. According to the Quran, you cannot do that. Let me show you. Read with me all the Abdul. And guys, don't forget to invite your friends. We have only 250 people here. This is chapter 2, verse 106. And I find this verse is one of the most hilarious, funny comedian verses ever. The one is talking here is who? Is Allah saying, None of our revelation do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten but we substitute something better or similar guys are you are you watching with me are you watching with me who is the one is talking allah allah is the god of islam supposedly not muhammad allah saying any verses we abrogate or cause to be forgotten which is hilarious but we substitute something better or similar who is the one who's going to substitute the abrogation based on this verse anyone can tell me 
this verse confirm that if there is abrogation Allah will substitute an abrogation verses for it so where is the verses which is substituted by Allah to say muta is haram anyone want to tell me the Quran confirm that if there is abrogation of you see guys look with me carefully of what the Quran saying none of our revelation do you see the word none do you see the word none which means there's no exception none of our revelation and the muta is a revelation it's chapter 4 verse 24 so if there is if there is an abrogation for a verse in the Quran it have to be a verse in the Quran too because the Quran says none of our revelation do we abrogate but we substitute something better or similar which is more funny I mean something better and similar Allah will make Quran better than the Quran and Allah will make the Quran similar to the Quran So when the Muslims they try to get around with it, go and following a written of a person saying, "Oh, it was abrogated, uh, abrogated." Where is the verses of abrogation? This is against the Quran. And why it's abrogated? What happened? Any Muslim can tell me what happened? Why it was legal and now it is not legal? Who who said so? Why? Give us a reason. So you are saying to me that the ethic of your prophet was bad in the beginning of your Islam. He was a he was a bad prophet. He allowed prostitution. He allowed you to rent women. But then the prophet he decided to repent to Allah and he decided. But this is not a prophet who allowed it. It was Allah supposedly. For this is a verse in the Quran. This is a religion this is a religion do we have any Muslim would like to give us a call any comment from the Abdul do we have any comment from the Abdul organization of what we are showing in the screen no should we call Zakir Naik assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum brother I have a question I, I, I told you 1,000 times that in Bangladesh now it is very late and I have my four beautiful wife and they are naked now how I can answer you in my cell phone and the camera might go open uh, uh, brother I mean put your finger over the camera and why you want to open the camera anyway I mean I'm calling you on the phone not in Skype okay okay what is the question why the prophet God which is Allah he allowed the muta in chapter 4 verse 24 and then you Muslim Sunni you cancel it what was the wisdom of allowing it and canceling it brother are you there brother brother okay brother and sister First of all, those kind of accusations is coming from a guy. You can find him in the internet. He called himself the Arabian prophet. He's written many books and nobody buying his book. If you go to Amazon.com and you search for his book, search Christian Prince, you find nobody buying his books. So now he's trying to make you buy his book. Uh, brother, what this have to do with the books of Christian Prince and Amazon? We're asking you about God allowing 
people to rent women to enjoy them sexually and you Muslim Sunni now you say that this is not halal no more okay think carefully when I was very young I used to eat ice cream and ice cream is my favorite food when I became in my 40 I don't like to eat ice cream so I'm not eating ice cream brother I don't know what are you trying to say what ice cream have to do with renting women we are not talking about food my friend we are talking about renting a women women flesh and blood women a human being okay it's obviously that you are a Christian because you are very slow if you are married where you get your ice cream me personally I have four cows at home and I suck their nipples brother what suck nipples what ice cream what? why why the prophet in the beginning of Islam he received a verse from Allah saying that you can't rent a women to enjoy them sexually and pay them and now you cannot do it okay okay it's very clear that you are taking hashish and you are under the influence of Trump I can tell actually the prophet in certain time he allowed things as an example in the time of the prophet Muslim they were allowed to drink and go to the mosque and they were drunk and the prophet he had nothing to do with it and he don't even complain later the prophet he forbid them from drinking at all because those people they are used to drink so he have to do it step by step I hope I did answer you uh, uh, hold on the brother uh, uh, but here the Arab they are not used to rent women like that it was the idea of your prophet so he created that they are it's not something they used to <coughs> I think I think I think you are getting those questions from a Christian friends and most likely you might be even Christian friends listen carefully yes it is the prophet who create renting women but women at that time they were more available and they are more flexible and they like it and because of the society always they like things the prophet he liked to make them happy so the prophet of Allah he made them happy for a certain time and then he noted that this is wrong it is kind of prostituting so it didn't mind and now I had to come I had to go because my wife are waiting for me don't ever call me again but br brother so it, the prophet was trying to make the people happy who exactly getting happy with this this is a religion you Muslims call it the religion of ethic we rent women we hire women for sex we exchange women rented women what kind of a prophet and what kind of religion and you know the Muslim they say to you should I cause I can make I I should do I should do Shabir Ali uh, uh, the Muslim they will say to you uh, do you know that in the Bible that's uh, loot daughters they have sex with their father my friend they did yes but the Bible did not say that God told them to do that this is what they did if the Bible report that the Christian Prince he killed somebody it's not God who told me to kill it is me who killed it's if a Christian Prince he committed adultery it's not Jesus said to Christian Prince he go and do this it is what he did here we have a God this is your God saying you can rent women for sex what this have to do with that you know what I mean and by the way thank you for those who they are helping us with the donation I really appreciate your help what this have to do with the what the Bible reporting you see they will say to you do you know that David was a sinner yes and he cried for God asking for forgiveness God did not give him verses says go and if as much as you wish 
He was a crying for God, asking for forgiveness. Go and read. Who said that David was a proud man of his sin and he is a sinner? You have a prophet. He made prostitution legal. Actually, there is a very clear verse in the Quran about prostitution, which is making it legal. Anyone remember? Anyone remember? <clears throat> okay, let's see. Chapter 24, verse number 33. This verse, speaking about prostitution. But force not your maids to prostitution when they desire chastity. Anyone knows how dangerous this statement is? Do you see how disgusting this, this statement is? The Muslim they say this is a good statement because the Quran says force not your maids into prostitution. <laughs> no, it's not saying that. The Quran is saying if they desire chastity. Do you see it? It is a legal prostitution in this cult. You have slaves. You can make them work as sex slave. It's better if you made them agree. You can, you know, you can tempt them with money. I will say, I will, I will share some money with you because they are slaves anyway. Their income will not be. They are not allowed to have an income anyway. You can say to them, ah, I will give you some. I will buy you some clothes. I will buy you etc. I will spend more money in your food and your your children's. Because they get the bread net from having sex with men. Muslims, one of the biggest business in Islam was slavery and forcing the slaves into prostitution. You see, there is there is something you can search yourself just to show you how huge slavery is in Islam, which Muslims try to hide from you. There is something it's called the revolution of Zinj. Revolution of Zinj. Zinj is equal to Negro in Arabic. The revolution of the black. What is that is about? In certain time, the slavery of Muslims to the black people became so scary to the point you find cities and those cities have zero white Arab in it everyone there is a black and he is a black slave he or she he or she in the year between the year of 255 and 270 which is equal to almost 880 something in our uh, in the lord year the numbers of black slaves became astonishing cities territories huge part of countries are just the slaves white arab they sit home having sex enjoying their fruits and the black they work for them to the point in the south of iraq the south of iraq became a territory of the black slaves And because they become so huge in number, those black slaves, they felt that we can do free ourselves. Good for them. And they decide to make a revolution 
against the caliphate at that time it was the Abbasi Caliphate this is how a slavery was a huge income for all the Muslims because everything is coming and who are the slaves by the way those either are captured when they attack Africa when they attack Egypt when they attack Morocco when they attack Libya when they go deep inside Africa or even even there's white slaves from the Christians from the Jews from everybody from the Persian the one who is not good-looking they send them for farming for cooking make money bring for us and the one who they are good in looking they are forced into prostitution according to Islamic books in one palace of the caliphate he have more than 10,000 Billy dancer in other words sex slave it just in one palace and the Quran here in the front of us not only promoting slavery promoting abuse for your slaves and the funny here it says your maids what maids well, what what maids those are slaves chapter 24 verse number 33 <laughs> we go and see the interpretation for the verse Here, you will see. It says it clearly, they are your slave girls. How the slave girls became my homemade. Why the Muslim, they keep saying to us that Islam is against slavery. When you Muslims make a fortune of money, from poor slave girls and all of you own slaves why those slave girls exist in the household of Muslims hmm? do you see it Always Muslim they try to give you a different version of the cult of Islam a version we cannot find anywhere It is a religion of slavery prostitution renting women doing muta and yet they claim that this is a religion of ethic Do we have any Muslim want to say something Anyone? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? After I finish my broadcast, the Muslim they will say to me, Oh, Christian Prince is doing brainwash for the Christians and he's fooling them. And they post text. He is misquoting. Uh, he is not reading correctly. Uh, this is not what it's meant. Why you don't call me now and show everybody that this is what the real meaning? I mean, why you don't? Why you wait until I finish always, and then you you suddenly you have a big mouth? You know what I mean, guys? Where is where is the Muslims who want to show us that we are wrong? After I close. And I finish for today. You will see tons of texts made by Muslims is speaking about the liar Christian prince.
He's lying to you. All right. Now, uh, one of you, he sent me this verse. Let us go there. <clears throat> And this is for you, uh, Doris, for what you said. يا أيها الذين آمنوا إذا نكحتم المؤمنات ثم طلقتوهن من قبل أن تمسوهن فما لكم عليهم etc. Let us hear translation. The Muslim here is saying that the word nukah does not mean the F4 because this chapter here is saying Chapter 33, verse number 49. If you do nukah, if you do nukah to women, but you did not touch them, you did not touch them, which means you did not have intercourse. My friend, still the nukah is the inter sexual intercourse. It's a, it's a contract, and the contract have accommodation. The wages is, the wages is, will be paid if you what they call it in English uh, practice the contract so the contract is called the effort contract but if you don't do the effort yet then this is what the verse is saying you are not going to pay them and actually it's using the word muta do you hear me uh, uh, you know So why they will not? Why they they do not need to pay them? Huh? Because simply they did not perform the nukah yet. They performed the contract, but not the physical act. Are you getting my my answer, Darius? Are you there? The word there is nukah, yes, but nukah is the contract for sex. Is the uh, you know I sign a contract with the women to do muta as an example, All right? I sign a, a contract for muta, but what the muta is about? She allowed me to have sex with her, which means she have to come to my bed. So now here, a guy he did a contract of nukah. It's a contract of nukah, not the nukah yet. He did not sleep with her yet. So this is still not marriage, as he's trying to say to you, because he's saying to you, "Oh, he did not, he did not uh, sleep with her yet, but it's called nikah, right?" This is the idea. The contract is called nikah. The action is the nikah. So this is the contract of nikah, and this is the action, which is you having sexual intercourse. Are you getting my point now? Did I answer you? Why they will not pay money? Because simply they did not practice the nikah yet. What they practice is just an agreement, which is just words. The agreement about doing nikah. Did you get me, Darius? Yeah, you can ask uh, Coltec if you want. Anyone want to ask questions, guys, feel free. Sure, sure. You want to call me? You want to go? Ahead, give me. All right. As we said, nikah, nikah is a word as long as you don't practice it. And it is a contract. It is a contract. But the consequence of the contract is you apply the conditions if there is no sexual intercourse nikah did not happen yet it was just an agreement as simple as that and why here the quran says for you are not you did not enjoy it read carefully with me if you ask this guy, what is the word here? 
فمتعوهن وسرحوهن make it pleasant and let them go the word muta is the same coming from the Quran the muta but here they did not have sex with them if you promise them a gift to give them let them take the gift if it's up to you but however you are not you don't have any obligatory to pay anything because simply you did not did intercourse so here there's no there's no nikah happened but there's a contract happened it is the contract of nikah but nikah yet is not performed it's like buying a car and then the company did not send you the car yet it's still in their house and you call them you say cancel it no, I did not take your car I did not use your car I did not even the, open the door of the car so you don't pay for the car and if you pay any deposit just let it go no my friend always when you translate uh, uh, when you when you translate you translate the meaning not only the word the word nukah mean intercourse the word nukah is intercourse as simple as that and we show you the reference so is an akah to mu'minat if you do intercourse to women if you do intercourse to a woman here the problem is he will say to you well it says they did not touch them so how it mean do intercourse what it's meant here that if you sign a contract of nukah of intercourse but you did not practice it yet so still this is intercourse why they are not going to pay for simply they did not do the intercourse okay let me show you something do you remember yesterday we we showed the 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 uh, the statement of the muslims about shaitan doing nikah to himself do you remember uh, darius let me open for you الجامع لأحكام القرآن باي القرطبي All right. You will see here that it says that shaitan he do nikah to himself so how we can say that this is marriage you know what I mean let us see uh, let me be sure where we can find that. <clears throat> Here we go. Uh, look with me carefully. Uh, it says. إن الله تعالى خلق له في فخذه اليمنى ذكرا وفي اليسرى فرجا الله he created for him in the right thigh of his leg uh, a penis and in the left thigh a vagina so who he, so he do ينكح the same word in the verse in the Quran so he do نكاح by this to that is the Quran is the shaitan marine himself Are you are you following me, Darius? This is the Muslim. This is this is Al Qurtubi. Al Qurtubi, if if here is saying that he is marrying, is marrying. That would be funny because he's talking about what? About he is entering his penis in his vagina. One penis is in the right leg and the vagina in the left leg. So where is the marriage here? So there's no question here that the word yanka it's a physical act. The verse you quote for me is speaking about a contract of the physical act. Still have the name Nukah. But they did not do it yet. Therefore, they don't pay.
No, the other person who was he said he want to ask me the question. Did he pose the question? Guys, did he pose the question? The other person? Who who is the one who said they want to pose the question for me? If you can pose the question for me again, please. Who is the one post the question? I, I, I'm, I'm just trying. In Egypt, Muslims and Christians live in peace. This is false, my friend. In Egypt, Christians live live live, live a horrible life. Who told you that? Go and see how many Christian girls kidnapped. Go and see in the last five years how many churches are burned. Go and see how many Christians get killed. Go and see how many priests get killed. So what are you talking about? Who is the one told you that? Yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Why the Muslims in Egypt, they will live together in peace. This is the land of the Christian. They came as occupation. And now you are saying to me they live together in peace. Go right now and see see what they do in the for the Coptic in Egypt. Go to the website of the United Nations and see for the human rights. What are you talking about? That is a lie. And if you are willing to call me life, I'm going to show you life, the evidence of what I'm saying about how many attacks the Muslim they did in the Coptic church in Egypt. It was war, been war for seven years. War what? What war? How many Christians get killed and how many churches burned since the Muslim Brotherhood, they lost their position? Can you tell me? How many priests get slaughtered? Did you hear about the bus? Two buses of a Christian women and children. They are going to pray in a church. The Muslims they attack them and they slaughter everybody inside. Did you hear about the churches? The Muslim they bomb. How many of them? Five, six, seven, eight. And you are telling me we live in peace? Aren't you ashamed of this lie? You Muslims cannot even live in peace. Uh, somebody is adding me in Skype to have a date with me. Hmm. Let me block this idiot woman. <laughs> Stupid people. Somebody want to do a Nukah contract with me. I mean, business is good, huh? Stupid idiot. Do we have any Muslim here have the courage to call me? That is the price of success. Muhammad, he would be so happy for that, my friend. <laughs> uh, my friend, you took our... Uh, do Did the Muslims and Christians live in peace? Never. Never ever, never Christian Muslims live in peace. In order for the Christians to, to be in peace, actually not in peace, let us say to live humiliated, they have to pay money and accept to be humiliated and then they will not be killed. Do you want me to show you that, my friend? You know what, you insist, so I have to shut you up officially. If we go here, guys, he's forcing me what I can do. I mean, let us do it. And this is how we do it, isn't it? This is how we do it. This is the book of Ibn Kathir. This is the Quran. Peace, huh? You're yeah, right. You Muslims even cannot live in peace together. Who is the one is killing Muslims in Afghanistan, in Pakistan? Who is the one killing Muslims in Libya, in Algeria, in Morocco? Who is the one killing Muslims in Syria, in Iraq, in, in Turkey? You coward, you say to me, you Muslim live in peace with others. If you cannot live in peace with yourself, read carefully with me. Feel themselves subdued, humiliated. What is the mean of paying jizya? And how the Christians, they can live in, in, a, in, a, in a land which is their land. 
it is their land Allah he ordered the Muslims to kill all the Christians fight those who don't believe in Allah nor the last days nor forbid what is forbidden by Allah and his messenger and who those who acknowledge not the religion of truth which means Islam from the people of the scripture so Allah is encouraging the Muslim to kill all the Christian unless 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 they live like dogs unless they pay jizya paying the jizya is a sign of kufr and disgrace this guy is telling us we live in peace so we live in our land with sign of kufr and disgrace Allah said until they pay the jizya so when you stop killing them if they pay you the money gang mafia until they pay the jizya if they choose not to embrace Islam with willingness submission and defeat and humiliation do you see it this is the piece you are talking about and feel themselves subdued disgraced humiliated therefore the Muslims are not allowed to honor the people of the dhimma or elevate them above the Muslims for they are miserable disgraced humiliated do you see it mr. peace this is how you can live in a Muslim country or controlled by Muslims according to Islam you took our land and now we have to be humiliated and disgraced and we have to pay you money to live in our land and Islam is peace Christians they live in peace with Muslims my friend hmm? the Prophet said look at the ethic of the Prophet the prophet the scumbag don't initiate the salam to the christian to the jews and the christians and if you meet any of them in the road force them to its nowest nearest la what does that mean in the old days they used to have an open sewage in the side of the road the prophet is teaching the muslims the good ethic of islam if you see a Christian and a Jew in the street, don't say to him, Assalamu alaikum. Don't do that. Instead, humiliate him and force him to walk in the sewage. He's not equal to you. Do you see it, Mr. Uh, Muslims and Christians? They live in peace. There's a river in Egypt. It's called Damanhur. It's called what? Dam Nhur. What Dam Nhur mean? Anyone here from Egypt? Dam Nhur. Who is an Egyptian here can tell me what that mean? Who knows? Dam in Hur, the word dam means blood. The word dam means blood. The word in Hur, rivers. Anyone knows why this river is called, or this location look called? blood or rivers of a blood because they slaughtered Christians until the rivers became so red who want to say this is a lie that is the truth my friend about the cult of Islam It is a lie. Ah, it is a lie. Okay, I'm going to show you something written in your books and let us see if it's a lie or not. Is that fair, guys? Let us see if Muhammad himself he practiced rivers of blood. 
Muhammad himself. Not, we don't want to talk about someone else. Let us see. It's a lie. All right. Hold on. Remember, it's a lie. You are the one who said that. You ask for it, my friend. And when you ask for something, when you are talking to Christian Prince, you get your wish. You get your wish. Here we go. The book of Al Jihad. Which book? Which book? Which book? The book of Al Jihad. All right. What happened here? Guys, read with me carefully. Is, is this hadith is weak? It is not. And this is the number of it. Let us read what happened. No woman of Banun Quraiza was killed except one. Why this woman she was killed? And what happened there? She was with me. And who is the one is talking? Aisha. She was with me, which means beside her, talking and laughing on her back and Billy extremely while the messenger of Allah was killing her people with the sword. He was slaughtering them one by one. According to the Muslims, more than 900 individuals get killed, including children. The Muslims, they say, that the prophet he ordered all the young ones to take off their pant and anyone he have little hair around his private part he was slaughtered and we as a middle eastern we are hairy since young age so you can tell how old those young kids they were slaughtered 900 people slaughtered one by one this is a river of blood and now look what happened to this woman. Look at the peaceful Muslims. Suddenly a man, which means a mujahid, a good fighter of Allah, called her by name. They know her name because they, live to, they used to live together. This is how, you can, how much you can trust the Muslims. Where is so and so? She said, I, I. Asked, what is the matter with you? She said, I did a new act. She's going crazy. Her, her people are slaughtered. Her people are slaughtered in the front of her eyes. She said, the man took her and beheaded her. <laughs> are you going to say to me, this is a lie? Is that a lie? Yeah, you have a Jew relative, right? I think the Jew relative you have is the neighbor of the prophet. And what, what you have a Jew relative had to do with our topic? You see, the Muslim is like a monkey. He jumped from a banana to banana tree. I have a Jew relative. A brother and sister did the person, his name is the Christian prince. And he accused us that we hate the dude. In fact, I have a Jewish relative. I did not kill him until now because he promised me to pay me some money. I mean, what stupid Muslims? I mean, what's wrong with you? You say to me, I am lying. Now I get you busted with the reference from your books. And now you're telling me, I have a Jew relative. What does that mean? You did not kill him yet. Huh? That means he lives in the West, don't you? What does that mean? Your mother, she slept with a Jew? Or your sister, she married a Jew? What does that mean? I have a Jew relative. Since when? You are a Muslim, but you have a Jew relative. Crazy people. Do we have any Abdul here? Do we have any Abdul here? May they, may they. Abdul is needed. May they, may they. The second Christian prince appear, the Abdul disappear in the bushes. You turn the light off. Christian prince, he go to bed. All the Abdul appear. We turn the light on. All the Abdul disappear. Now remember, guys, this coming Saturday, we have a debate. And this is a message sent to me by Renee. So we trust that she have an agreement with this guy. 
this this is a sheikh. His name is Ru Ruhi, and we are going to debate him this coming Saturday at 4:30 p.m. Which means I'm going to open a little bit earlier so we can be sure that he will not be waiting for us. All right. So at 4:30 p.m. this coming Saturday, we have a debate with Sheikh from Egypt. Did we take a note? Put that in your uh, calendar, please, so you can join us and you can tell your friends. Do you know Sam Grants? I don't know Sam Grants. My friend, don't ask me to debate him. I don't know where, where I don't even know of him. What about you invite him here? Anyone you want me to invite, inv want me to debate, invite him. What I can do, I cannot go and chase people. And I'm skiing. Guys, Mr. Cool, he said to me, I am an Ameskeen, which means uh, uh, he feels sorry for me, he feel pity for me. Abdul, the Meskeen is your prophet. Look at this. I feel pity for your prophet. Who imagine himself having sex, but the fact, in fact, he is holding the pillow. Why you feel sorry for me? Am I infected by the black magic? Huh? Did the shaitan ride in the top of me? Did the shaitan command me as your prophet? Read with me. The prophet continued for such and such period, imagining that he had sexual intercourse with his wives, but in fact, he did not. <laughs> what? You feel sorry for me? Why? Am I the one who told you to eat seven ajwa to fight the black magic and let later I get infected by the black magic? Am I the one who said eat seven ajwa, you can fight the black magic and... Uh, uh, no poison can kill you. And later we find that Muhammad died by poison. Four years suffering by poison. And you feel pity for me? Madri Ishfiq, Shinu Hada, Gala Yafarhan, Ella Bathuka, Mother Tomani, and Chagala Yim Al Khanaga. You will eat Chacha, Achi Arab, Achi. It's all, it's all, it's all, it's all, it's all. Ah, Salman, Salman bin Zayed, call me, Yalla. This guy now he could not answer him in English, so he switched to Arabic, trying to get avoid to avoid the topic. Uh, now he he think I'm Iraqi. The Muslims are the most funny people ever. When they want, they make you Lebanese. When they want, they make you Syrian. When they want, they make you Iraqi. When they want, they make you Saudi. I got all the citizenship in the world. Suppose he is expert by the accent. You know, you must be an Iraqi, huh? Yeah, and don't forget, some of them, they accuse me to be a Jewish, especially when I say, Khabibi, Khabibi Muhammad, Khabibi. You remember the story of Musa? When Muhammad, he went to the 7-11 heaven, in his way back after he went to the garden of Allah, and Allah, he gave him, I don't know how, he did not talk to him, but he gave him 50 prayer. When he was leaving, Musa said to him, Khabibi Muhammad, Khabibi, what's up, Muhammad? Muhammad was so happy. He Musa uh, Allah, he gave me 50 prayer. You know, Muhammad is like an idiot, stupid, you know? Uh, Moses, he said, Khabibi, let me get the calculator, Khabibi. 50 prayer, Muhammad. Muhammad, are you okay, Muhammad? Khabibi, listen to me, Khabibi. Sit down next to me, sit down. Muhammad, listen to me. Khabibi, Muhammad. If Allah gave you 50 prayer, and you are going to sleep, Eight hours, so we have 16 hours left. That's me, my friend Muhammad. You are going to pray three hours, three prayers every hour. And as long you need Khabibi Muhammad, 20 minutes to prepare for the prayer and 15 minutes to pray, that's me. We don't have enough time, Muhammad. <laughs> Khabibi Muhammad, have you ever heard of such a stupid thing? God is ordering his prophet to pray 50 times. 
and then he went outside and then he saw Habibi Musa's the Jewish guy and Musa's calculated the number for him say Habibi Muhammad Habibi you are an Arab you Arab you have no idea how to calculate number Habibi Habibi listen to me Habibi if you is a 50 if, if 50 prayer that's mean you have to pray three prayer every hour it's impossible 20 minutes to prepare to the prayer 15 minutes to pray we don't have enough time Habibi who is the stupid here? Musa or Muhammad or Allah? Yes, I am on a Skype. Skype is open. And you feel pity for me? And then you are telling me that the Jew, Musa, is the one who corrected Allah and he asked Muhammad to go and ask for a discount. Since when we can discuss a bazaar, with God about how many times we pray. If not Moses right now, you Hamas, you will be praying for 50 prayer every day. How you can do that? And how you can do any work in your life? You will not even have time to have sex. Oh, if I forgot, you are the same as the prophet. You imagine yourself having sex, but in fact, you did not. It was like a blink of an eye, you know? Do we have any Muslim? <clears throat> Do we have any knowledgeable Muslim? All right. It is 7.20 right now. We will be closing by 7.30. So we want to give a Muslim chance to call. Any Muslim? Mayday, mayday. Final call. Final call. Al Burak is leaving the earth. Mayday. Any Abdul? Before our plane fly, the Abdul they will start. They will say they wanna call me after I leave. When I am here, nobody wanna call. I know you. I know you. BS calling. You know what? I will, I, will, I will shorten my beard, which is more than 20 foot, if be a call. I will make it five foot. This is your mobile. I will call you to Jordan. And who is going to pay for the call? And why in the world do you want to give me your mobile? What about you? Call me in Skype. It's free. Ah, you are the follower of Allah and you are not good in calculation in 50 prayer. Huh? So let us call Musa to explain to you how big the bills will be if we pay you, if, if we call you to Jordan. Look at the excuse, man. I am in Jordan. Call me. Call me. Call me, baby. <laughs> Why you don't call me? And maybe the phone number, this will be the phone number of the king. I call there, the king Hussein will answer me. I mean... Call, call me, call me, call me, call me, call me, call me. Call me. That's it. Who want to call me? Hmm? Let us dance with Allah. Your God, Allah, don't dare to kill me. Your Allah never called Muhammad anyway. Have, can you show me one time where Allah spoke to Muhammad? I mean, all Islam is based on what? There's a guy, he is a delivery guy. Hello? Muhammad, like what the heck? What? Who, who is this? He did not even say to him who is he. He started squeezing the guy, and the Mister Cool. He feel pity for me. I feel pity for your prophet. He is in the cave, sitting alone. A guy come to him, and he started squeezing him, trying to get a mayonnaise from him. 
and he squeezed him to the point the guy he can't even breathe. I mean, what the point of this squeezing? No, no, I cannot answer you, my friend. I am out of answers. I'm that's it. I am astonished with the prophet who's sque been squeezed. We have a bewitched prophet who been squeezed three times, and this is was the activation code. <laughs> Any Muslim can tell me why. <laughs> Hello? Hello? I'm calling you. You're not answering. Ah, you are calling me. I'm not answering. My friend, I am on air and everybody will hear you if you call yeah. me. You never call me yet. Anyway, what, what, what do you like to say? Go ahead. Everybody can hear you now. Hello? I hear you. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, is this uh, Christian Prince? Yes, it is me, my friend. How I can help you? <laughs> okay, I'd like to uh, to ask you politely. Mm -hmm. Now, if you would like to, to discuss any subject or any topic, if you want to be professional, you should, uh, first of all, not uh, you don't have to jump from a subject to a subject mm -hmm. and a topic to a topic. Mm -hmm. And you don't give people a chance to discuss whatever you want to discuss mm -hmm. or throw mm -hmm. suspicions. So... You should, you should, uh, you don't give the chance for the other Muslims or the Muslims who are here and listening and you are mocking their religion and their prophet and you are mocking even Allah himself. Mm -hmm. So to be fair, uh, first of all, you should tell us if you are a believer, a Christian believer, then we can talk to each other. If you are atheist because a Christian believer cannot mock Allah, right or wrong, uh, uh, my, friend, kind of my, fr like? my friend, first of all, I'm a Christian. Secondly, I'm not mocking Allah. Allah, he mocked himself. Allah mocked himself. Yes, as How an example, in, in the front of us, it says, do, "Do you see? We don't want to change the topic. You call me in the perfect time. It says that no, the, no, prophet, no. the prophet, the prophet. Listen, 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 you asked me a question. You asked me, uh, my friend, my friend. You just said, you just said, let us not to change the topic. You asked me a question. Let me answer you, please. You are the one who put the rule. I'm, I'm, to, I'm going to respect right, the rules you put. Right, okay. Allah, He mocked Himself when He said that the prophet continued for such and such period of time, imagining that he had sex with his wife, but in fact he did not. Is that a mocking for Allah and His prophet or not? No, 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 no. One, one, one second, one second, one second. Mm -hmm. Now, you are saying that we, in our Quran, uh, have mocked Allah because you are saying or claiming that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu he came up with this Quran. Now, this is something else. Don't change the topic. Now, don't change the topic. I gave you an example. Okay, don't don't, okay, go, okay, don't go out of the example, please. Friends, yeah. just, no, I'm just, I'm just uh, following up the point here with you. So, mm -hmm. um, uh, we have to be on one base. Mm -hmm. If you are a believer or you are a Christian believer mm -hmm. and you, you are not going to mock Allah, your point of view, it's okay. We can discuss that. Now, if you're going to say that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi is mocking Allah with the ayat that he came came, came up with. My friend, uh, 1, my friend, months, my friend, we can, my, we my friend, discuss my friend, you know exactly, so you know exactly who is a Christian prince and you are the one who's calling me and now you are putting me conditions if you want to talk to me. Why are you call me no, if you no, are putting no, conditions no, to talk to me? No, no, so listen, no, I'm, listen giving no, I'm giving you time to talk. I'm giving you time to talk and you, you okay. asked me a question. I gave an answer. I said, what kind of Allah and what kind of a prophet he mock himself to the point he says that he have a prophet was under the black magic to the point controlled by the shaitan because the black shaitan, the black magic is the mid of, of, of the work of shaitan and he's a prophet is under the control of shaitan to the point he imagined himself having sex. Isn't it you Muslims who are mo mocking your prophet and mocking Allah? Answer me, please. Okay, so now, now uh, the mocking point is that. Uh... Uh, a pro how can a prophet uh, get uh, a black magic by a magician or a Jewish magician? Is this, it's not only that. This it's, is it question. is more how? than this. It yeah. is the black magic. It is the prophet. Yeah. He is under the black magic, controlled by the devil. It is the prophet. His reputation is being ruined. No, no, no. He was not it, controlled by devil, prince. It is. To me. It, it is. He was sick. He sick. was sick, and this is a proof. His magic. A human being. His magic is sick. His magic is sickness. No. His he magic. Was sick. He was physically sick, uh, my friend. Uh, friends, my friend, on. my friend. He was physically I'm asking sick. He was not no. throwing a hat and coming up. No problem, no problem. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm no. asking you, is you magic, is a black magic, is it sick? You, listen, listen, friends. Okay, I'm going to answer you. You're not giving me the chance. Go ahead. Give me one second. Give me 30 seconds, okay? <laughs> Go ahead. Now, you're saying that he was throwing a and coming up with a under the black magic. How come a prophet comes with an a if he is drugged or he's, he's let's say, under black magic or he's He's hallucinating or whatever. This is not possible, okay? Now, you can get sick. You can get sick. Now, first of all, do you believe in magic? This is a question number one. In Christianity, do you believe in magic? No, we don't. 
No, you do. No, we don't. No, you do. No, we don't. No, you do. Prove it. No, are you Catholic or Protestant? My friend, we have a Bible. We have the Bible. It doesn't say that we believe in magic. Actually, the, the Bible speak about magic. That when Moses says he did uh, uh, do his miracle in front of the Pharaoh, his magic overcome their magic because they are magicians, which means the miracle of God overcome the tricks of the false people. So, who, so, so the prophets are magicians. They are not. We are don't not believe. They, they, so for us, you see, if you want to understand magic? my belief, you take it from me, yes. How what we believe, not okay. you. If I want to show you what well, the Quran me, says, me, listen, 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 listen. Yes, listen if I want to show you a Quran verse, I will show you the interpretation of the verse according to Islam, not according to me. Do you agree with that? No, we do agree with that. No, okay, I'm, so I'm showing you now. I'm showing you the interpretation. I'm showing you the interpretation according to Christianity. It's not up to you to tell me it does not mean that. So now let us let us focus on the topic. You're a prophet and that the black magic is the black magic from the devil. Yes or not? He was he was under the black magic and that proves that he's a human being and that proves that he can get sick and that proves that he can die. All okay? right. So he was not throwing ayat uh, prince because he was under black magic. So if you are, if you are, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Hold on. So, okay, go so ahead. now you admit that the prophet was under black magic, but isn't he the prophet? Affected. Listen to me, prince, prince, prince. Don't, 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 don't put words in my mouth. He was affected. The symptoms of a black magic. Affected. What does that mean? What, what does that mean? The symptoms, the symptoms, getting what? weak, getting headache. My friend, pain, what headache? What headache? What headache? The guy, the guy, he imagined himself doing things he did not do. Don't say the guy. Listen to me. No, Prince, please have respect. If we are going is he a god or he's a guy? Is he a god? Is he a god for you or he's a guy? Listen, listen, don't tell me what to say. Don't tell me what to say. If you want to talk to me, I will come. You want to leave, you can leave. He is a guy. He is no one for me. He is a prophet for you. It's up to you. Now answer. Is this guy you Muhammad? Is he? I don't tell me what I, I don't respect your prophet. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. I don't respect your prophet, and you know that we don't respect someone he killed us. We don't respect a rapist. We don't respect a child molester. Listen, you have listen for others. You are trying, you are trying to run away from the topic. You are trying to run away from the topic. You're a prophet saying the hadith says he was bewitched, my friend. The hadith says he was bewitched. What do you mean he was sick? What do you mean he was sick? He if was bewitched. He, I don't respect your. Pro I, don't you, I don't respect. I don't have to. You like it. You like it. You don't. You don't like it. Go fly. I don't respect your prophet. I will never respect such a man. So answer now. Don't make an excuse to run away from the topic. You got busted. You're a prophet. Is imagine himself having sex. Is that under the black magic or not? Cannot debate. If you cannot be polite. You I are not, you are honest. not, you are not answering. Excuse is not being polite. What polite for you? I have to say Muhammad was a good guy. I have to say, I can't even say the word guy for you. I cannot say, guys, I cannot shut up, shut up. Imagine, guys, I cannot say the word guy. Is that an insult? <laughs> I said, this guy, this is an insult? Muhammad is not a guy no more. He's God. Those, those Abdul, they worship him. I cannot say the word guy. So what I can say? The word guy, the same as I say, this man, he is not a guy. He is not a guy. So what he is? What he is? What your prophet is? What is your prophet is? He's a guy or he's a girl? Is your prophet a guy or he's a girl? Answer me. He is not a prophet. I respect your point of view. Is he a guy or a girl? Is he a guy or a girl? I'm asking you. Is your prophet a guy or a girl? It's a freaking street language, my friend. My friend, is Isa a guy or not? No, no. Is people, Isa, no, no. Is Isa, people, Isa, Is Isa, Is Isa the one in the Quran? Is he a guy or a girl? No, no. Don't, 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 don't go and curse. <laughs> now, don't change the topic. That, that, Answer. That, that. You are hiding. Be, be, you are hiding behind excuses. Obviously, you don't want to talk about it. You don't want to answer. What kind of a prophet? What kind of a prophet? He is. He is. He is a prophet of God. He is a prophet of God. And yet, he is under the black magic of the devil. Answer me. You don't have a respect for a prophet and you say Isa is a guy? Yeah, Isa is a guy. He is not my prophet. Don't, I don't know. Who's Isa? So what's your, Who's Isa? Who is Isa? Who's Isa? Who is Isa? Who is Isa? Who is Isa? Who is Isa? No, no, no. Don't tell me. Don't tell me Isa is a prophet. Who is Isa? Who is Isa? What is his last name? What is his last name? Isa is a man. What is his last name? He's a guy. 
you cannot I do you don't, don't change the topic you see here we go guys here we go those, those those muslims they never answer a question isa you said isa right isa who is isa introduce isa to me introduce isa to me who is isa who is isa Allah, he's a prophet. And I don't care. This is That's not a question. I'm not asking you for his job. I'm not asking you for his job. I'm asking you who is Isa? Can you give me his full name? What do you mean, who is Isa? Who is Isa? Look, I want to know who's Isa. You told me there's a guy, his name is Isa. Who's Isa? The original Christian's prophet, not your prophet. My friend, this is not a Christian. question. Don't tell me who is the original. Don't tell me who is the clone. I'm asking you who is Isa. You said to me there's a guy, his name is Isa. Isa who? Who's Isa? I tell you, I tell you who's Isa. Uh -huh. Isa, 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 Isa. You tell me his grandfather's names and his mother's grandfather's names. Give me, give me the names. I'll get you the tree. Here we go. Okay, give me the names. I'm asking you, why you don't give me the names? Me the what is Isa name? What is Isa name? Prince, 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 don't ask me stupid questions. No, I'm asking okay. you a stupid question. You cannot answer even the stupid one. This is this is how weak you are. I'm asking you, who is Isa? You cannot answer. Isa, the son of who? Who is Isa? What his family? What his last name? Answer me, please. Answer me. I, I, this is my question. I, I, are, you, are you going to tell me what to ask? Uh, is this my question? I mean, this question is important for me. For listen, listen. I am not smart like you. This is an important question for me. You are a smart person. Please, please, please speak to me. Maybe I'm silly. Answer my question. Isa, the son of who? I want to know who is Isa. Musa, 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 the son of who? This is my answer. To you. Oh, no problem. I will, I will answer you. I will answer you. But first, you answer my question. No, first, you answer my question. First, you answer my question. Don't jump to ask me a question about Musa, son of who. I will tell you, son of who. I will tell you the son of who. I will tell you the son of who. Hey, hey, hey. Don't run away. Isa is the son of who. What is his family name? What is his family name? Who is the family? Al-Amran. Listen. Thank you. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Guys, did he say Amran? Did he say Amran? Don't talk. Don't talk. You are mute now. I got you busted. Finally, he answered, what is the father? What is the last name of Jesus is Umran. Who is Umran? Umran is the father of Mary. The mic is yours. Do you agree with that? And this is our Do you agree with that? That Omran is the father of Mary? Yes or no? Do you agree that Omran is the father of Mary? Uh, so I can you, nobody can hear me now. No, they hear you. Is Omran is the father of Mary? Is Omran is Omran the father of Mary? Listen, listen, you silly. Is Omran the father of Mary? Yes or no? And it's American. Is Omran? I'm not talking about the American right now. Don't talk about miracles. I'm asking you, is Omran the father of Mary? Yes or no? What? Is Omran the father of Mary? Yes or no? Do you, do you have a piece of frag behind my friend? You yes, I have a frag. I can do you, do you show you a hate about the frag? Don't go there now. Answer is Omran is Omran the father of Mary. What's wrong with you? Why I need to repeat the question 1000 times so to make you answer it is Omran? Who's Omran? You said Omran, you said his, his grandfather is Omran. Who's Omran? Is he the father of Mary? It's not Omran, he's not Omran, he's not Arabic. You don't speak properly. Okay, English. so what the name, uh, guys? It's not Omran. So it's what? It's what? Imran, Imran, Imran. Oh, okay, Imran. So Imran, Imran, guys, Imran, 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 guys. It's Imran, not Omran. Imran is Omran is the father of Mary. Yes or no? I don't believe this one. Well, I don't. You are so. Why you, so but, but, I, answer me, Abdul. Answer me, Abdul. Sorry. Are you out of battery? Are Allah. you out of battery? Why you don't answer? Is Imran the no. father of? Is Imran the father of Mary? Is him? Yeah, you said you said Imran, not Imran. Imran, Imran. Yeah. Imran. Let me sing it for you. Hold on. Imran, ya Imran, anta ya Imran. Who are you, ya Imran? So I'm asking you, is Imran? The father of Mary. Either you say yes or you say no. Singing? Yes, singing I'm singing. I sing. Singing is halal in Christianity. It's not Islam. Your prophet, no, he said, you're singing you're is haram. No, listen, you're answer you're me. Answer me. Uh, why you are a coward? Why you don't want to answer? Is Imran the father of Mary? Either you say yes or you say no. Very simple. 
What's what's important in there? It's important for me. It. It's important. Everybody no, will see no, in a no, few no, seconds no, no, how no, important no, it is. No, no. I'm asking you: Is Imran the father of is Mary he? or the uh, Imran? Who's I'm Imran? Not. I'm asking you: Who's Imran? Is is he the okay. father of Mary, the mother of Jesus? He is he? Is he Abdul? Answer. I want an answer. You see, I have my experience with Muslims. They are like goats. They keep chewing, but they eat nothing, and they give nothing, and they do nothing. It is Ramadan. You eat and you sleep. You snore. Don't go and sleep in my lap. I want an answer. Who is Imran? Yeah. Is Imran the father of Mary? Is Imran? Is Imran the father of Mary? Yes or no? Can you can you do that? I cannot stop unless you answer me. Is Imran the father of Mary? Why you don't want to answer? You put your stinky snake. Why you don't want to answer? Stinky Abdul, you are the one who took a shower in Bi'ri Bida'a, like your prophet. Bi'ri Bida'a, where dogs, they sleep, they, 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 they the dogs, women blood from period. Don't talk about stink. Now answer, is Imran the father of Mary, yes or no? Shut up, you idiot. Guys, why do you want to answer? Can somebody tell me why? Can anyone in the world can tell me why they want to tell me? I mean, what, what is difficult about it? Who is Imran? Is he the father of Mary? Either you say he is, or you say he's not. Very simple. So Abdul, for the last time, otherwise I'm going to block you and get lost. I have no time for kids. Is Imran? You are mocking. Is Imran? Is the father of Mary? Yes or no? Is Imran the father of Mary? Yes or no? Coward! 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 Is Imran the father of Mary? Why you are scared to answer? What the point? Why you are scared? Explain. Why? Then, then answer. Who is Imran? Is he the father of Mary? Is Fine. he okay? He's the father. Okay, thank ahead. you. Yeah. Shut up. Shut up. Hold on. I will give you the mic when I finish, please. So we can, guys. Did you hear him saying he is the father of Mary? People in the room, people in the chat, the 300 people listening, did you hear him saying he is the father of Mary? Oh boy. Oh boy. And the Amran is the father of Moses. <laughs> <laughs> so the Quran teach that Mary the mother of Jesus is the sister of Aaron the daughter of Amram which is the father of Moses and Aaron now do you know why I made you answer because simply your Quran made by a false prophet and false God in chapter 19 verse number 28 it says yeah, Uchta Harun, O sister of Aaron, who is the one they are speaking to? Mary, the daughter of Amran. But Amran is the father of Aaron. How you explain to us such a stupid mistake in the Quran? The mic is yours, and I'm listening. To answer that question, is, 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 do I have? Do I, am, am I a historian? Do the prophet's parents? Ah, you are a historian now. You are not historian. Aha! Uh -huh. You need to be a historian now. I don't care, my friend, if you are a historian, you are a Muslim. And a one who said to me, you want to challenge me and you want to debate me. So what, what me, kind of a prophet me. he made a such, such a stupid mistake? Listen, friend, you see, friend, I'm giving you the friend. time to answer. You, look, guys, he asked me to, for time to answer. When I asked him a question, he said, what, I am a historian now? <laughs> so what are you? What are you? You are not historian. So mm -hmm. what are you? I'm asking you to answer the question. I don't care if you are historian or not. This is your religion. I'm a Muslim. I'm, 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 a, normal, I'm a normal Muslim. You are normal. You are normal. Are you sure you are normal? Yes. No. As, lo as long you yeah. are a normal I'm Muslim, not, as long you are a not normal not Muslim, not can you give me a normal question? Can you give me a normal question, please? The question is, oh, what yeah. kind? Yeah, what kind of a prophet? He made such a mistake. He says that Mary, the daughter of Amran. And you are the one who gave me the name. You said, yes, she is the daughter of Amran, but Amran no, is course. the father of Aaron. Hello? Prince, 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 not an historian. I don't care who is the father of Mary or who is the grandfather of Mary. Go back for square one. What was your question about our prophet? Guys, you don't care. Have you ever heard a, have you ever heard of a debate like this? I don't care. <laughs> you don't care. You just got busted. You just got busted. So you don't care if your prophet making a, making a mistake. You don't care. You don't care if you are you saying are you saying that you notice now that your prophet is lying and you don't care? I'm not expert in your religion. I don't okay. listen, 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 listen. You you just admitted you just admitted that your yeah. prophet he made a big stupid mistake and you don't care. This is what you are saying to me. 
No, 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 I didn't say that. You You're said that. that. You said that. You said don't you no, care. You said you don't that. care. No, I told you that the Prophet ﷺ, he was sick from the black magic. Ah, this is why, uh, this this is a sick guy is talking, guys. Yeah. This is why he he he, he misquoted the name. He have the wrong name. And, but the one is talking yeah. there is the Quran, my friend. Yeah. Listen, yeah. Abdul, Abdul, yeah. Abdul, yeah. Abdul. Allah was under yeah. black magic too because this is Quran. The one is saying that Allah. is the Quran, not Muhammad. Yeah. Are you saying Muhammad yeah. is Allah? Yeah. Are you saying Muhammad is Allah? No, no, Muhammad is Allah. So you what? So what do you mean Muhammad was sick? What does have to do no, with no, Muhammad no, being sick? Muhammad. What does have to do with Muhammad being sick? Why Allah is quoting the wrong name for the father of Mary? He think that Mary is the okay, sister of Aaron, and her father is Amran. If Muhammad can get sick from black magic, why Allah is sacrificing and killing? Not the question. This is not, don't, don't change the topic. No, no, no. Why Allah made a mistake? <laughs> why Allah? Why Allah is sick? Why Allah is sick? The sick Allah. You are saying to me Allah is sick. Because now you're saying to me that Muhammad he got the wrong name because he was sick, but the fact the one is talking is Allah. Answer this question, you stupid prince. Answer this question. About what? About testicles? About what? Sacrifice for his for his children. You are a child. You are a sinner. You know how come a god? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. So guys, now hold on, hold on. Let me let me mute you, guys. He decided to jump, speak out of the topic because he got busted. So, do you admit that your prophet he made a stupid mistake and he is a false prophet? So we can move to the second topic, which is about sacrificing. Are you willing to do Allah. that? Are you willing that? Are you willing to say to admit that this is a mistake in the Quran? So I can answer you about your question about sacrificing. Mistakes in Quran, like your your your. You just admitted. Bible. You just admitted. No, you just said I don't care. You just admitted. You just you told me that Mary, her father, is Umran. You just you just admitted that Mary, father, is Umran. Everybody heard you. This is why I insist you to answer. It took me twenty minutes to make you answer the question. So now we have we have a stupid God. His name is Allah. Stupid prophet. His name is Muhammad. Saying that there is a guy. His name is Umran. He is the father of Mary, and he is the father of Ma of, of Aaron. How Aaron and Mary? They have the same father. Can you explain to us? Give me fifteen seconds. Give me fifteen seconds. If you are fair, I will give you fifteen. I will give you fifteen minutes. I will give you fifteen minutes. But don't change the topic. Go ahead. I can make you a Muslim, inshallah, with with the power. Inshallah, inshallah, brother. Inshallah. Start. I can convince you. Oh, no problem. Okay. Answer me about the mistake in the Quran about Mary. Her father is Umran. How this happened? Go ahead. If you are seeking the truth, wallahi, wallahi. I don't change the topic. The I'm not. I, I don't talk about the truth. You don't have any. Now answer. What kind of God he you make a mistake about Amran? How <laughs> Amran became the father of Mary and the father of Aaron? How this happened? What What about this deal? What about this? Deal? We can talk about if Disneyland you, later. We can talk about if, Disneyland later. If you will convince what Disney? What Disney? Abdul, I'm asking you I, a question. I, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. How Allah he made I'm such a mistake? He is God. And yet he I'm think not, that I'm Mary is the sister of Aaron and her father, his name is Amran. How this happen? I, I'm, I'm challenging you. I'm telling you. I'm huh. telling you. Okay, okay, I'm listening. I'm listening. We can debate. We can debate and we can fix points to discuss it. I can be ready. I can do my homework. You can do your homework. Oh, so you are ready now? You are saying you are not ready now? You are not ready? No, no. I was just wondering, and I was. I saw you. Uh, no, of course. Oh, you are wondering. I wonder how. I wonder why you told me, told me, told me about the blue, blue sky and all what I can see. Just a Abdul jumping around me. I thought it's a guy, a turn monkey, and all what I can see, a monkey around me. What are you talking about? So you are calling me to debate me, and you are saying to me you need to do homework now. No. Debating you about my religion, not about your religion. I'm talking about your religion. The Quran saying that Mary is the daughter of Amran, the sister of Aaron. This is your religion, okay. my friend. So okay. now answer okay. me. Okay. Don't tell me I'm not ready. Okay. All you Muslims are not ready. I never saw a Muslim is ready to debate me. Never. Okay, okay. What is your question? Make it short. Make it short. Guys, and now he's asking me the question. You believe it? I mean, after, after, yeah. after, after 30 minutes, I'm repeating the question. He's asking me what no, is the question? The black magic, and now you are. You are no, you are the Isa. one who mentioned. Uh, you are the one who I'm mentioned Moses. Says, you are the one who mentioned Isa. Listen, listen, listen. My question is very simple. Let me repeat the question. Hold on. I don't care. I don't care. Let, let, you don't care? It's not important for me. Wallah. It's important for me. It's important for me. It's a mistake. No, no, it's. What is that? Ask you, Abdul, Abdul, what do you mean it's not important for you? What do you mean? Who are you to say is not important? Are you are you making fun of the word of Allah? Are you saying the word of Allah is not important? Allah, you are stupid.
Because are, so stupid and so silly. Are you saying See, that the word of Allah is not important? No, no, I'm, I'm not saying that. So why are you no. saying it's not important for me? I'm saying that I'm a normal person who learns from my mistakes. You are normal. Mistakes you are normal. And he's not fully hold on, hold on. I need to study this, guys. I never. This is the first time I met a normal person. To be honest with you, my friend, I am honored. I'm truly honored to meet a normal person. I never saw a normal Muslim. Are you serious saying that you are a normal Muslim? I never no. met one. What do, what do you mean you are a normal Muslim? What does that mean? That means I'm Muahid. I believe in one God, and that uh, God has no. Son. You believe you, you believe in a God. He said that That's Mary, it. she have a father. Her name is his name is Amran, and she is the sister of Aaron. And Amran is the father the of Aaron too. How this happen? Quoting if you are quoting this, if you are quoting this true, I believe in that. Yes, but this is a mistake, my friend. Whose mistake? My mistake. I'm a human being. It's okay. It's acceptable. You must do mistakes. But Allah is one saying not, that, my friend. Allah, Allah. Yeah, okay. You admit that this Google is a mistake. That. Okay. You admitted yes. that this okay. is a mistake, but this is a mistake of Allah. How Allah is a human being? Allah is a human Allah. being. No, no. Quran is true. Quran is true. But it, it's mistake. just a mistake. We you just say it. You just say it. It's a mistake. You agreed it's a mistake. If it's mentioned in Quran and I didn't do my homework and I didn't study it because I do business in oil and trading uh -huh. and I don't read Quran every day. So I do mistakes as a human being, as a normal Muslim. Okay, how Allah make a mistake now? How Allah, we are talking about the mistake of Allah. I don't care about your mistake. This is your business. How Allah makes what, a mistake what? that Mary, she is the sister of Aaron and her father is Amran, which is the father of Aaron. How what, this happened? How this happened? How this, how this happened? The name of Aaron. Aaron, Aaron, Harun, Harun. Uh, how, ma how Mary, how Mary, she became the sister of Aaron, and her father is Amran, which is the same father of Aaron and Moses. How this happen? You mean that uh, that Harun is is the uncle of Mary? <laughs> no, he is he is her uh, brother. According to the Quran, he is her brother. And uh, yeah, and, and, read, um, and read it, read it, read it for me, read it. Read it properly, my friend. It's in the front of you. What's wrong with you? In chapter oh, nineteen, what? verse number twenty-eight, it says it's that a r a Aaron, the the the, the or, or, so, or Mary, the sister of Aaron. This is the Quran, and I am the one who asked you, and everybody is my witness. Who? What is the name of the father of Mary? You said Amran, and you correct me. Suppose I say Imran, not Amran, huh? Christian prince, okay. stupid. Christian Prince, what's wrong with you? It's Imran. You yeah, remember? The second, okay. the second Imran. It is Imran. So now, how Imran, the father of Aaron, yeah. became the father of Mary, and how Aaron and Mary became brothers and sisters? Yeah, but how how do you prove that Aaron? You just Harun did. In Arabic, you he just, is a brother of Musa. How, what's your proof? He's the same Harun. Maybe it's a different Harun. Why what, do you what? say that it's the same Harun? Ah, this is different Harun. This is different Harun, guys. The Quran speak about one Harun. Okay, do you have okay? Do you have other Harun in the Quran? Can you prove to me that this is the different? Can you can you show me can you show me one reference, one Islamic interpretation saying that this is not the same Aaron? The same? Uh, no, you tell me. I'm asking you this question. Well, according according to you Muslims, this is Harun, yeah. the brother of Musa, and the son of Amran. Quote quote where says whom? Says who? The Quran? Mm. Where? Which ayah? In many ayahs, as an example, if we go right now, yeah, how, how chapter how chapter two, verse possible. number two, no, we, chapter no, two, no, no, chapter two, verse number two four eight. Say hmm? the name of the surah, uh, Prince. I just name told you. Surah. I just told you. Chapter of Al Baqarah. The, no let two. me. No, let, no. Al Baqarah. Yeah. yeah. Let me. Uh, no. Maybe you don't understand the Al Baqarah chapter. We can find the Al Baqarah chapter for you. Yeah. So. Maybe I, I don't want to say, guys. I'm afraid to say the word, the name. Then the Muslim they will say he is not saying correctly. So I'm going to use okay, like some kind, okay, okay. some kind of sound, sound effect. You know, this is the chapter name. Hey, what's the ayah? Read it. I just told you the chapter name. Yeah, Surah Al-Baqarah. What's the ayah? So now it's correct. I don't have the Quran in front of me, Prince. So now the the, the cow did say it correctly, or you need to correct the, the cow too. I don't care the, the it says that the the, the, the family the got your difference you have done your homework chapter two verse number two four eight there's many verses my read friend there's read many read verses read read there's many verses there is chapter four verse read 163 it. chapter let me give you read more it. let me read give you let me no, give you it. more let Listen, me give you more a chapter it. six verse number 48 read it read it read it for me okay let us read let us read together chapter seven verse one 
22 رب موسى وهارون هو از هارون اند هو از موسى رب موسى وهارون الله يعني اوكي اوكي هو از موسى اند هو از هارون هو از موسى اند هو از هارون ذا بروفيت اند هيز براذر ذا بروفيت ثانك يو سو هارون سو هارون ان ذا قران از اونلي هارون وان هارون هي از ذا براذر اوف موسى نو 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 وي ديدنت نو اتس نوت مينشند اونلي هارون از ذا براذر اوف موسى نو دونت سي ذات ذات ايا نو Ah. Does it say that? But you told me that. Does it say that? You, you just said that. No, I didn't tell you that. I didn't tell you that. Ah. You're lying now. You're putting words in my mouth. I asked you who is Harun and Musa. You said Musa is the brother of Harun. Yeah, yeah. Listen to me, Prince. <laughs> <laughs> you said that. You no, said that. Omar, Everybody heard you. Omar, okay, I let me shut you up. You, Omar, so, are you asking me? Are you asking me to? Are you challenging me? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you challenging me to show you a verse in the Quran says that Musa and Harun are brothers and, and they are brothers? No, they are brothers. Right? We know yeah. that for fact. Of okay. Course. So what? What are you are yeah. saying? They are not then. No, no, I'm not saying they are not brothers. So okay, how then Arun? How Arun became the brother so of? Need, how Arun? Arun how Arun? How Arun? What is the last name of? What is yeah. the? What is the name of the father of Arun? The name of the father of Arun. Uh huh. Allah, I think if Moses. Uh, يعني, يعني, uh, Moses, he has 12 brothers and they were all Jacob's brothers, Yaqub brothers, so it's Jacob, Yaqub. Oh, right? wow. So Moses is a son of Jacob. Oof. That's deep, my friend. Where do you get this from? No, no, Musa, Musa is the son. Musa is, is, is the son, Allah Masala Sayyidina Muhammad. Uh -huh. One second. Jacob, he has 12 brothers. He has Yusuf. Then Yusuf, he has uh, that would let me read for, for you need the, the three of the prophets one second, one by one. I'll go to see in the sequence. Then Yusuf, he's the descendant of Yusuf, so Yusuf is the grandfather of Musa. So I don't know what's the name of Musa's father, no, but I know that his grandfather is it's Jacob, Yaqub. Okay, go ahead. Then, ah, second question, okay. And they all came from Abraham, but I don't memorize the three, they are the gone from Abraham. Okay, okay, all right. So yeah, the second question. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. We wanna, we wanna finish you this. Are, if, if, I wanna, history, if I wanna, if I wanna learn, if I wanna, uh, ask me about okay, history? okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, come hold on, 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 hold on, hold give on. Me, give me something. Hold sorry. on, my friend. Hold on, my friend. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If we go and yeah. try to find where we can find the name or the full name of Moses, do you have a book to refer to? The name of the name. If you want to know if Arun. The same Arun is your Arun, the brother of Moses. Mm -hmm. Is he the, the 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 uncle of or or the? No, no. The I mean the father. Of, the no, listen. The question. The question is very simple. Don't, don't, don't breathe. Yeah. Relax. Relax. If 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 we we need to go and find who is the father of yeah. Moses, which book we should refer to to find the answer? Who's the father of uh, Moses? Mm -hmm. Which book we learned that from? I have to. See. Which book? Where that from? Um, it says here. One second. I'm quoting for you. It's Imran. Ben Qahif bin Lawi bin Yaqub alayhi salam. So I was. Thank you, guys. Did Yaqub you hear it? Did you hear it? Father. Did you hear it? So Musa's yeah. his father is Imran. No, Thank no. you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so, and you told me, and you okay. told me that Mary, her father, is Imran too. And the Quran says no, that Mary is the sister of Aaron. Hold on, hold on. You agreed that Aaron and Moses are brothers, and you agreed that Umran father, sorry, Moses father, it is Umran, and you agreed that Mary father is Umran, and the Quran says that Mary is the sister of Aaron. How Allah He makes such a mistake? What Mary, the mother of Jesus, have to do with Umran, the father of you Moses, mean, and how Moses mean, and Aaron they became brothers and sisters to Mary? You mean you mean you mean that uh, it's called yeah, I'm quoting for you Surah Al Imran verse 35. It's called Imratu Imran Rabbi in Nadar to Lakama Fibotni. Okay, the, 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 the wife of Imran said, uh, Allah, okay, in Nadar to Lakama Fibotni Muharra. My friend, my friend, hold on. So this is from Hannah bin Fakul. Hold, 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 okay. hold your horses. So is your question? No, no, no. Question, my, let me repeat is, my is, question. Is let me repeat my question, my friend. The father yeah. of Musa, according to all the Muslims, his name is Umran. The father yeah. of Mary, and you admit with that, his name is Umran. Uh -huh. Okay, so now we have Mary and Musa. Both of them, they have the same name of the same father, Umran. 
And the Quran no, confirmed. No, hold on. No, 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 no. I'm correcting you now. It's a, it, you no, said Amran. No, okay, is it, Amran. is it the same name or not? Yeah, it's the same name. Thank you. It's okay. The same name. It's okay. The same okay. It's the same name, guys. It's the same name. It's the same name. But the Quran yes. says okay. in chapter yeah. 19, verse number 28, Surah Maryam, that Mary is the sister of Aaron. Okay. Sister of Aaron. Aaron is the brother of Moses, and his father is Amran. So now we okay. have Mary and Aaron. They are brothers and sisters, and their father both is Amran. This is a mistake in the Quran. Okay, so so what do you? Yani, so what do you mean? What do you mean? There, there is there is a long distance between Amran, it's between Mary and Musa. How Mary she became the sister of Aaron, and they have the same okay, father. The answer, the answer is no. We have we have the answer. I will answer you. Uh -huh. Harun, mm -hmm. uh, the the brother of Maryam, mm -hmm. is not the same Harun as the brother of Moses, ah. because Musa and Harun, uh -huh. Musa and Harun along, uh -huh. Musa and Harun along, they have a lot different in time between them and Jesus. Uh -huh. so, so the same Harun. So what, what's what's your what's your point? Okay, here? what is the proof that this is different Harun? What is your proof? Do you have a proof? Okay, I, I'll tell you. Yeah, I'll tell you. Go for Bimba's location website, uh -huh. and you can search it over. Here's a question, and they are quoting that there is one ayah in Mary in Mary chapter uh -huh. verse twenty-eight. It says, "Ya ukhta Harun, ma kana abuki imra aswan wa ma kana umuki baghiya." Allah now is mentioning. That Maryam is the sister of Aaron in this ayah. Now the the the, the, the man asked again the Sheikh, he's saying, Wa akhi Harun, saying that Moses is saying, My brother Harun or Aaron, he's has a stronger tongue than me, so mm. send him with me. Okay. Now this is in chapter uh, I think 55, mm. verse 34. So is Harun and the other Harun are the same Harun? The Sheikh applies back. No, it's not the same Harun. Well, let, let me Harun. okay. Let, let me get your Sheikh because what you said is a lie. Your Sheikh did not say that, and you can provide me a reference. Secondly, let me get you. You oh, and no, your no, Sheikh. No, no, no. Let, you, let me let me name. get you and your no. Sheikh busted, my friend. According to the Quran. No. According to the Quran. No. According to the Quran. No. Listen, 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 no. listen, no. listen. No. According to the Quran, is Mary is the only daughter of her father. Yeah, go ahead. I'm asking. Hello. I'm asking. Is Mary is the only daughter of her father? Is it, this question is for me. Yes, for you. <laughs> well, I don't know. I didn't go through the history of Mary. What Tell do you mean? Me, what do you mean? You just told me. You just told me that she have a brother. Her name. His name is Harun. <laughs> yes. Okay. It's mentioned in the Quran. Okay. So how she is the only child for her family and Allah he made a miracle because her family they can't have a children and now Allah he gave them a miracle her name is Mary so she have no brothers so where her own coming from why why it's a miracle why who told you that <laughs> her family has only okay. only 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 one child or one well, what do you mean by that Maybe maybe her mother was married for another person or her father has an ex-wife or a dead previous wife. So, My friend, are yeah. you a person who did read the Quran before or you never read the Quran? No, I did. Okay. I'm answering you. I'm, I'm answering uh, okay. you a simple answer uh, and uh, it's very reasonable Okay, answers, okay, friend. okay. Hold on, hold on. If we go right now, you are not answering anything actually. Let us go. Hold on. It's your opinion. You say this. I'm not saying mm -hmm. anything. No, it's okay. The people can judge. Uh, hold on, hold on. Look. Your followers, they can judge. Right. Oh, your phone is ringing like crazy, man. No, right. it's it's an alarm for right. my suhoor. I right. have to make suhoor now, right. if you don't mind. So okay. can we can we fix the time to finish this? You can call me, my friend. It? No problem, no problem. You can no, call okay. me. Well, no, no problem, okay. no problem. So I, have my, my, I have one hour left. My friend. Go ahead, go ahead. No, no. If, I am I am still, if I am still it's online, okay. if I am still online, you can go and you can call me anytime. All right? No problem. No, 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 no. It's okay. We'll, we'll finish this uh, topic. It's okay. The, 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 hmm. Your question that if Mary has a brothers and sisters so or whatsoever. where we can I, find a reference, where we can find a reference about the wife of Amron, she gave birth. What happened to the Mary? What happened to her mother? What happened exactly? Okay, I will answer you. I'll answer you. Mm -hmm. Is it mentioned in any Bible of the four Bibles that you have or any written Bible scripts about the childhood of Mary, Virgin Mary? Don't, go to, the, her childhood don't go to before, the Bible now. We are going here in the prophecy. Quran. No, 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 no. You quote me. My friend, my friend, even my, in friend my friend, my friend. Don't it's go. Don't go. Okay. How Mary, How? who is Maryam? Maryam is the daughter of Amran, right? 
Okay. How Allah how Allah introduce Mary to you as a as a Muslim? How oh, Allah you can read chapter two Al Imran and Surah Maryam. There is a complete right. surah in her name. Chapter so yeah, this is and a, we believe that ah, yeah, okay. we believe that she's a virgin right. and we believe that she's the mother of Jesus okay. and we believe that she has been chosen and we believe that she's from the best woman on earth and we believe a lot of things that you don't believe it. Uh, I don't know. Okay, uh, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. So Maryam in 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 the in the uh, in your religion is introduced yeah. to us in which in which image as a one as what? Virgin Mary. I I, I know it's. I'm not talking about what uh, what if she have sex or not. And she is no. She is the mother of a prophet. Of okay. Isa, this, is the, this, is not, okay. this is not the question. How the Quran yeah. introduced to you Mary? I mean, how Mary come into the Quran story? What is what is her? What is the story? Why? Who is she? You told me that Mary is the yes. daughter of a normal. She's a normal. She's, she's a normal woman. She's a normal. Been chosen. Okay. She has been chosen by Allah Azza wa Why she is chosen? to be the mother and to be a miracle. Let me complete. Okay, give me a chance. Uh -huh. She has been chosen by Allah Azza wa Jal because she is very pure and she is so perfect. Mm. And Allah chose her to give birth for Sayyidina Isa, for mm. Jesus, mm. peace be upon him. Mm. And uh, Allah has sent her Gabriel, uh, mm. Jibreel. Mm. And uh, she had the miracle of the miracles mm. that having a baby without mm. a father, like Adam alayhi salam, he has been brought into this life without a father and mm. without a mother. So if there is somebody should be called Allah or a son of God, it should be Adam, not Jesus, according to oh, All right, all right. No, uh, Adam, is not, as Adam is not born, my friend. Adam is created from mother. No, no, bro, don't, bro, don't change the topic. The life, don't change the, the topic. No, don't change the topic. The don't change the topic. Yeah, yeah okay, listen. No, in, chapter, in chapter 3, the verse number... In chapter 3, verse number 35, Mary, she made something in Arabic, we call it nether, nether, nether to. What yeah. does that mean? Translate. Uh -huh. What does that mean? You mean neither in English? I know what yeah. is neither in Arabic. It's not the proper okay. word of English. It's is it? Like, is it? Is it someone yeah. he he says I uh, uh, whatever I give the, I, whatever yeah, I get to break yeah, it with like, I will yeah, give it to I, you. Whatever I yeah, uh, it's like for for the sake of Allah. Yeah. All right, that's for wonderful. Why Allah. this woman? She did that. Yeah. Why? Why she did that? What do you mean? Why? Did she why? Do that? Why? Because you know. Gave, usually, we usually, in, thought, yeah, yeah, usually yeah, in okay. Islam, people they make another. If some if something happened, I will I will do this. Correct. Ah, yeah, I know what you mean. Okay, I can answer this question. This is good. This is very nice. Mm -hmm. Now, her nether is different from our nether. Her nether, her nether is mm -hmm. different because she's a mother of a prophet. Now, our nether as slaves... My friend, and, she is not a mother yet. Sister. She is not a mother yet. She is just a girl. She is a virgin. She's pregnant. She's, no, no, no. She's okay. pregnant with Jesus. Uh -huh. So okay. she's a mother. My she's, friend, this is not Mary. This is not Mary. My friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. Uh, we are not talking about Mary. Yeah, to, we are talking about the mother of uh, Mary. Mary, Mary is not wife. is not the case. The mother of Mary, Amran wife. Okay. Um, so um, now, okay, Imran, now she so made she another. Was, she said, yeah. "I vow. Yeah. If I vow, why, why, and why the vow is whatever I okay. give, I will get a bread with. I will give it to you." Why she made a vow? Mm -hmm. Why the question? Why hmm. now? Uh, um, I think now. I don't want to to to. to to give a false uh, piece of information because because I don't know, but I think she was a good believer and she was a very decent and honest woman in her society. Mm -hmm. And she was married to a very decent and honest man mm -hmm. who is Imran. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was praying to the same Allah that Jacob and I mean, are you going and, to continue until tomorrow? The, the answer is very simple. Tell me was, why she, she is was, making a vow yeah, that whoever, praying, whoever that I'm going Allah, to have please. is going to be yours. Yeah, yeah bless. Blessing. It's a sort of pray to bless this elephant. Mm. In her, in her uh, placenta or tummy, that please Allah give the blessing, your blessings to this baby who is in my, in my, in my uh, placenta. So it's sort of a pray. Mm. Okay. So, yeah. Second question. You did not answer me. Why she made a vow? It's a pray. Why? Asking why? Allah why she why she made a vow? I'm not. This is not a prayer. She made a vow. She made a vow. If if she made a vow, she made a vow. If when I get a bread yeah. net, I will I will do I'll this. You because because my wife, mm -hmm. my wife, she did the same for her four kids. Mm -hmm. She asked Allah to give the blessings for her baby. Okay, One let me let, let me her. show you. Okay, let me my friend. Let me show you. Open open the screen in front of you. This is Tafsir Jamu Al Bayan fi Tafsir Al Quran Al Imam Al Tabari. Go down. You will see here it says okay. that this woman she prayed to God that if you made me bread net, if you made me bread net, 
if you because she is old and she cannot get a breath net if you make me breath net i will i will <laughs> vote I, hold on hold on hold on hold on فدعت الله ان يهب لها ولدا فحملت بمريم وهلك عمران so now she have no husband no more he died he died her husband she can't have kids and she don't have kids so she is praying to god please god let me have a son so now god he answered her call but instead hold on hold on hold on hold on you see i'm reading your islamic interpretation not mine so she prayed to god and god respond and he gave her yeah. a female so this is the only daughter she have and she is the only son she have because she have no son she ask yes, allah that's she ask allah for a son abdul yes, listen listen yes, abdul listen abdul don't play games that she has no child. it says yes it says she is asking allah to have no, no, a son no, you know right. but no, she said to him but she said to him the quran confirmed that she said you gave me an untha you gave me a female and the female is not what i asked for you gave me because her husband died she cannot have kids no more she want and you know let us say let us say the, uh, listen, listen 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 she asked for what she asking Allah for a male why because she don't have any she don't have any and the hate in the front of you the interpretation she fadat Allah an yahiba laha waladan fa hamalat bi maryam wa halaka umran so she asked Allah praying to Allah please Allah let me get pregnant with the male so she get pregnant with Mary and Umran die so now they have no hope to get a new new kids and she has all already then when she know that she have in her, she already breath net, she said to Allah, whoever you give me is going to be vote for you. Because this is the promise she made already if he made her breath net. And then when she get a breath net and she deliver, she deliver a child, which is a girl. So how you want to say to me that Mary, she have a brother, his name is Aaron, and this is different Aaron. When your book saying that Mary, she have no brothers and no sisters. Can I answer? Yeah, please. Okay, does it mention anything about the life what's her name do you know her name mary's mother it's hannah right <laughs> what do you get the, mention, okay where do you get the name from henna henna my friend henna where, where do you get yeah, the name from no, where, where do you get the name it's, from it's hannah it's hannah not hannah okay ah, hannah is, Hanna. Hanna is a name of hannah hannah is a name of a guy by the way but anyway where do you get the name from where do you get the name from that, okay now where do you get the name from i'm asking you from your from your old testimonies okay so how so, so why allah did not mention the name why allah did not mention the name and what is the name of the father of mary let me answer yeah. <laughs> let me answer prince come on my yeah, friend chance. my friend how come chance. how come you are quoting for me from the old test from the new testament the name of the father of mary uh, uh, the mother of mary no, but do, do you know what the what do you know who is the father of mary hmm. okay i'm answering you hmm. can i answer now go ahead Okay, now, mm. now it doesn't say that Amran was dead when she got pregnant because she cannot get pregnant without. No, he without, died after without, she got a breath net, my friend. He died after she okay. got a breath net. Okay, no, because you mentioned pre earlier that he, she, she had no husband and she, he was dead. My friend, okay. no, this is no. not what I said. Are you are you on, are you on drugs? Listen she, carefully. She let, she me re, let me repeat. I don't like stupid yeah. talk. Okay, it's recorded, Abdul. Everything we are saying is recorded. People, they can play it again. Not, don't lie. Listen, Abdul, listen. Like you are yeah, Abdul, or if you are Abdul, let me get you busted, my friend. Read with me carefully. Read with me carefully. Read with me carefully. Ah, hold on. Oh, hold on. وكانت قد أمسك عن قد أمسك عنها الولد حتى أسنت. She's she yeah. was a woman, she could not give birth. She, listen, shut up. I have no time for kids. أمسك عنها الولد حتى أسنت وكانوا أهل بيتي بيت من الله جل ثناؤه بمكان. So she is a woman who get old and she she don't have kids, she's old already. All right, and then while she was in the shade of a tree, she found a bird feeding his birds baby birds and then inside her stomach or her belly a child move or she felt something so she prayed to allah to give her a baby male so she get a pregnant with maryam after she get a pregnant amran die that's what i say so now this is confirmed to us that this woman, the mother of Mary, whoever her name is, because the Quran never gave anything, she was not a Bretonet all her life. She could not have a baby all her life. And she is praying to Allah 
to give her a baby, a baby boy, not a baby girl. And as you see in the front of you, it says that she cannot have children. She, she did not, and she is already a senat. She is old, and she don't have a boy. And now she prayed to Allah, and Allah, he obviously, he answered her call, and he gave her a birth, but to a, a baby girl. And now that will get you busted about what your sheikh said to you that Aaron is the brother of Mary because we just confirmed to you that Aaron cannot be her brother from sorry you, you said uh, uh, this is this Aaron is different Aaron not the brother of Musa's this is a brother of Mary because as you see from your books Mary her mother she gave birth only to one child and that is her how you answer that the mic is yours that next question I uh, no no you don't answer anything answer I just get you busted no. Mary she have no brothers no sisters Mary she have no brothers no sisters the page in the front of you the Quran in the front of you why you are lying no I'm not lying who told you so no I just give you the answer then give me the answer how how you must not believe that Mary she have no brothers and she have no sisters in the same time you are saying to me that this Harun is the brother of Musa but this is a different Harun you are the one who said that hold on shut up shut up guys did this guy say that yes this Aaron is a brother of Musa did he say that but he said oh he is the brother of Musa sorry he's the brother of Mary but he is not the same guy the brother of Musa that's what he said we heard him right it's recorded now we showed him his Islamic interpretation saying that Mary mother she vowed to God she have a vow to God that if he made her pregnant because now she is old and she could not have a children, if he can give her just a boy, just a boy, and then God he answered her call and then he made her pregnant, and right away her husband die when she is a pregnant, when she is a pregnant, and this is the only child she have. So this guy he did lie to us saying that the sheikh said that Mary she have a brother, his name is Aaron. And he is different from Aaron, the brother of Moses. The mic is yours. Let us laugh at you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Next question, yalla. No, why this question? Why this question? We want to. Well, you you be you being cooked. You being cooked. You being cooked. Admit that you are lying. Admit that you are lying. Admit. Admit that your Muslims are a bunch of liars. Why you lie to us saying that Mary she have a brother? His name is Aaron, and this is not Aaron the same as the brother of Moses. Why you lie? When your books and your scholars admit that Mary have no brothers, no sisters. It doesn't say any previous history or facts about the history of of of. My this friend, woman, I just showed you. I just that. show. I just showed you the reference, guys. And did I show? Did I show I the reference? Yes or no? People in the people in the chat. People in the chat. Did I show the reference or not? Let me show the reference again. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let, you know what? Let me get you busted more. Let me get you busted yeah, more. Like, I'm going yeah, to give you the link. I'm going yeah, to give you the link. I'm going to give you the link. Hold on. This is Tafsir at Tabari. Hey, don't ask me a question. Wait, wait, wait. Tafsir okay, at let, let me give you the page number. Let me. Uh, you can ask me, no problem. But let me give you the page number, and you. And I want you to confirm to me if what it says there is it true. Is it true? Listen, my name. Your, your name is uh, your name is Olga, and you are from Russia. In page number three hundred thirty-two. In page number three hundred. Shut up. Shut up. We can't talk at the same time. In page number 332, it says what I told you. Why you are lying? You Muslims, why you are lying? Why I cannot find a Muslim? Telling the truth. Hadith number. The book of at tabari hadith number 6858. It's in the front of you. Apologize for lying and continue. Go ahead. Apologize for lying, please. Why you are lying you to us? Question? Oh, so we are done with this question? We got you busted with? No, no, no. Are you, do you have another question? We have millions of questions. Listen, listen, why don't we fix the timing? If I, I want you to prepare your own homework good, hey. okay? I want you to be strong next time. Uh -huh. I want you to prepare uh, a bullet of questions or list of questions. Mm -hmm. Send it to all of your viewers online. 
I'll be ready for that. You be ready for that. Please, and we please, can please. discuss. What's we your What's your name, your name, my friend? What's your name? What's your name? My name is Ahmed. I'm Ahmed. from Palestine. Okay. Yes. Okay. No, no problem. My friend, you can call me anytime you wish. I always <laughs> we are here at four thirty p.m. All right, mostly. You can call me anytime as you. Okay. Wish. What's the topic? Okay. We don't have we don't have a topic. Our topic, topic always our topic always is topic. Islam. You should be fair. You should be professional. Uh, about no, Islam. this is why I'm prof uh, my friend. My friend, don't talk. Don't talk. Because I'm a professional, I challenge you with any topic. I don't need to prepare for a topic. You call me and talk to me. This is what professional do. This is this is what people this is what people who have knowledge do. I don't need to get ready. You need to get ready because you are a kid. I'm ready. I'm ready for you. Allah, seriously, come on. So, please, shall we continue please. then? Shall we continue? Shall we continue, or you want to go? No, no. You, you tell me. I, 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 my wife she's she's cooking the food now. She's making ah, okay. you know. Well, I wish you uh, I wish you a good appetite, my friend. I wish you a good appetite. I hope you will eat as much yes, as you yes. can. My name send you a dish. It's a very nice dish. It's okay. Now, even but I don't want you to mock the prophets. I don't want you to mock. My friend, At least have some you Muslims, you mock your prophet, not me. You just mock your prophet. You just admitted that the Quran teaching lies. You just admitted that the Quran teaching lies. Take care, take care. Call me when you are ready. I'm not going to waste my more time. Do you see, guys, how we get them busted? I want those who care for what we do to cut this video when this guy, he called me. And make it a special video and send me a link so everybody will laugh and share it around feel free to download my videos by the way do you see how we get them busted you have to be consistent don't let them run from the question do you know how many times I repeated the same question in order to get him to answer what is the father of Mary did you remember this is how you should do it they will not answer. You have to force answers. Muslims don't debate you. Muslims, they are following the devil and they play games. It was not a debate. It was a chase. And this is how it is always. They never answer. Sometimes people they say to me, Oh, you, you don't even let the Muslim talk. I mean, my friend, what more talk? I want you to talk, but he don't want to answer. You ask the Muslim a question, he talk about everything except the question. And by the way, he is the one who mentioned that, not me. He is the one who mentioned uh, you know Isa and Mary. You know, you know. He mentioned it, he ran away from it. So what we do here, I'm not here really coming to debate Muslims. The truth is, I am here to show you two things. That nobody, nobody can refute Christianity. And Islam is a cult, so its followers. They are cult people. And the proof, as you see, they lie. This guy, he lies, says to us that his sheikh said that Aaron is different Aaron. Yes, he is the brother of Mary, but this is not the same Aaron. And then we discover in their scholarship books, a tabari one of the oldest sheikhs in Islam, saying that Mary, she have no brothers and sisters, and it was a miracle from Allah to make her get a bread net. My friend, I am the Christian prince. And all of you Muslims are no match for a very simple reason for I have the truth in my side and the truth is my Lord he is the truth he is the Alpha he is the Omega I am the truth the Christ said I am the life I am the resurrection you are following a dead liar man who died by poison who could not commit or let us say proceed or provide any miracle except some stupid stories goes against the Quran written by Muslims Muhammad is speaking to his donkey asking him about sex what a miracle yesterday I saw a frog in the back of my yard I asked the frog 
Do you like sex? He said, bok, 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 which mean, yes. You Muslims, how you can run away from the truth that this is a fabricated box? It's a clear error in the Quran. And the Quran said, if this book is not from Allah, you will find contradictions in it. And this is the book of contradiction. <sighs> but anyway, it's good that he called us, and that is a great example for those who want to learn about this cult. What we do here is a school for free. Whoever like to learn. Uh, let us see here. أفلا يتدبرون القرآن ولو كان من عندي غير الله لو وجدوا فيه اختلافا كثيرا. Why they cannot understand the Quran and why they cannot accept the Quran and why the Quran is troubling them? Why? If this book is not from God, you will find in it a lot of contradictions and errors. You believe it? So Allah Himself He gave us. <laughs> The guideline to reject or to accept the Quran and we just discovered that the one who wrote the Quran is an idiot certified idiot who he think that Mary she is the daughter of the same father of Aaron Amran the Muslim they say oh yeah this guy he gave us this time different answer usually the Muslim they say oh in the old days they used to say uh, oh sister of etc oh daughter of etc like the ancient guy the good guy it's a standard, but it's the same father, my friend. Amran is the same father. And the reason Muhammad, he got confused, because Mary, by the way, Mary in Arabic is not Mary, is Maryam. And that is exactly the name of Maryam, or the sister of Moses. If you go in the Bible, you will see that Moses and Aaron and Maryam, they are a family, Maryam. So the ignorant Muhammad, he heard the Jews speaking about Maryam, the sister of Aaron. He thought she is the same person and Aaron is the same person. So he said, oh ya ukhta Harun. This is how foolish Islam is. Anyway, I want to say thank you. And I want to say thank you for those who made donation today. I appreciate your support. If you like to help us, there's a link under the video there. You can go to Patreon and you can always help us with your donation. Your help is needed and God is good. He is our provider. Thank you very much, guys, for being here. May the Lord bless you and keep you, protect you. And the most important thing is to protect you from ignorance because ignorance is the reason of sorrows. Ignorance is the reason of going to hellfire because people they choose and this is a different kind of ignorance it's a choice you make people they decide these days to be ignorant the bible says my people destroyed because of their ignorance don't let the ignorance destroy you those people they are very well trained deceivers but their deception can work only if you are occupied with ignorance, not with knowledge, fight your ignorance, stand against it. Education is there. You can have it. Spend more time reading, searching, educate yourself, and don't let anyone fool you. And whatever I say to you, if I don't show you a reference, right in the front of your screen, don't believe in it. Question me. Tell me where you get this from. Don't take things for granted. For every human being is a human being and he can make mistakes and he can be even a deceiver. Do your homework. Christian Prince is showing you all reference he have. Did you save them? Did you take notes? Are you going to download a video and 
take notes and find all those things we spoke about please do because one day you will need them and the Christian Prince will not be here I will not live forever I will die I want to see the day I die there is many Christian Prince doing better than me and I hope the Lord will answer my prayer thank you very much for being here Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again. Bye-bye.